that intro hello everybody welcome to council of creators episode 31 chainsaw reacts course host and for the first time on council dan from scene invaders is here welcome welcome to the show man thanks for having me of course for having me. death row oh remember it all oh, perfect it's now sorry <laughs> for, hey, up, man? i mean that was that was a perfect episode if i ever saw one yeah i mean jesus i don't i mean I don't want to get into spoilers specifically because it just happened today, but my God, <laughs> you know, that episode was so brutal. Um, have you been watching it? You talking X Men 97? Uh -huh. I haven't watched it yet. No. Okay. Oh. You haven't seen this episode or you haven't watched, started watching it yet? I, I haven't started it yet. I was going to wait because okay. we're like covering other stuff on our, on our channel. So yeah, I have to, I have to be current with different things. So I was going to wait till it was all out and then just binge it. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you will definitely have a different experience than us. Because after this episode, you want the next one, and we have to wait a full week. Like it sucks. Yeah. So yeah. the the question is, what are they going to do next? Like we don't know. Because well, I mean, they get, they kind of give you an idea, but they really they kind of tease it. Yeah, but at the end of episode four, you think they're going to do something else for episode yeah. five, and they don't. So that's what I'm saying. Like we don't know what they're going to do next. Like they could go. We're not going to cover what happened in this week. Next week, we're gonna because no. we're going to go back to this thing over here. And mm -hmm. then we'll get to this if it like, ugh, which I feel like that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna tease us like, ugh. but it was good though. Yeah, intense. This show is so good. It's beyond what I thought, or at least we thought what it was gonna be. I'm sure still... Cyclops is good in it. Oh yeah, the voice actor who's taken over for Cyclops, he's so good. Yeah, yeah, they're all weird. good. They're all good. Like, wow. Uh, yeah, it's it's intense. It's more than because we were expecting. Ooh. A return to, you know, this nostalgia thing, and we're gonna get some good storytelling. It's way beyond that. It is far above that. Like they've surpassed in so many ways. Yeah, uh, they definitely dipped into that era of comic books too. Yeah, Heavily. and Naruto's got a point because we technically had a part one in episode four because it was kind of like a half split episode kind of coverage, and like they literally said, okay, we're not gonna do part two of this <laughs> next week, which makes sense because like after this you're like i i needed this because you wanted that whole build up to for the last 10 minutes to go insanity yeah. oh my god um we will not draven we're not gonna have a great time no <laughs> we can't have a good time unless he brings his bread online uh, he was eating bread at his lunch break today <laughs> <laughs> yeah dan uh draven he ate bread on stream so we kept like cutting to him like a full shot when he would take bites because it was we thought it was funny at least we thought nice <laughs> a good question will we watch the harry potter show when it comes out yes i'll check it out yeah, yeah me too i mean i have nothing against them trying to do something different because they'll be able to cover more within the show versus the movie had to cut a lot of stuff down especially the last couple of books which were like you know, a brick. <laughs> is it going to be every season's a different movie? Is basically that's how it's going to work? Yeah, like they're going to, I think they're going to each season as a book. Okay, know? okay. But season, that, that means book one and two and three are going to have to really like stretch it out a little bit, or they're going to have to add stuff that was never 
or maybe stuff that we heard about in the books, like, oh, this happened to a character, but we didn't actually see their perspective. We yeah. might be getting some of that instead. Um, hello, hello, good evening, good evening, hello. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so you think Universal will release trailers? In, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't, because we only got the Joker thing. I don't think we're getting anything else. And the Joker, the Joker was weird. That was a weird trailer. Because uh, you do, because what's what's in his head at this point, and what's that, real? That's what I brought up too in my reaction. I'm like, well, in the last movie, he was he thought this, you know, woman had this relationship with him, and she's like, who? Are, what? But yeah, exactly. So I, I think it's all in their head. I love that trailer. I thought it was great. Oh yeah, I mean, it definitely is beautifully shot, and I yeah. think. It's definitely interesting to get Lady Gaga as Harley. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. Because I was conflicted. Yeah, I was conflicted with the first film. But then I saw the trailer. I'm like, okay. And I saw the movie. And I don't plan on ever watching it again. But I really enjoyed the movie. But I don't think we needed a sequel. But I think why I made a billion. And they're like, if we're going to do a sequel, we have to do something different. You know? Because if they did, if they just brought in Harley for part two and no musical aspect... Oh, it's just the same thing again, but with just Harley. Yeah. So I, I get it, but I like the trailer. Yeah, people are like loving it, and that's fine. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like they're at it to me. The the trailer's adding more layers to his. Uh, I guess what what he sees inside his head, like what. Mm -hmm. There's more layers to it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I I could see that because I think he'll have visions of a thing with her, and then she'll have visions of him. Yeah, I think that's so you, how it's gonna work. Yeah. So, so then we're you gonna try to figure out like whose vision is whose throughout the movie? That'd yeah, be kinda, like, that's gonna be kind of difficult, or or weird. it might be to where the person's perspective will shift, so we know it's Harley's <laughs> vision and we know it's his. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. <laughs> but okay sure you know and i don't think it's gonna make a billion dollars this next one no so. well did, by the trailer could you tell did it look like harley was an inmate so that's the other part of it that's confusing yeah was she an inmate that, or was she somebody on the outside that's what confused me because it looked like she was an inmate when she turns to him and she was like let's mm -hmm. get out of here they're mm -hmm. sitting next to each other like watching a yeah. movie or whatever, like movie night. It it, see, it seemed like she was an in inmate, which would be different. You also got to think even deeper. Once he sees her, is he having visions that she's not actually there until they actually meet later? You know what I'm saying? Like, so what if like he's she's not there, but he thinks she's there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That may play into it. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the good thing because we don't know because we all we know is this trailer. We don't know anything else. Uh, besides the fact that it's a musical, <laughs> which they really yeah. highlighted that too, with like the piano and the dancing, it's like, oh, okay, uh -huh. right. yeah. Um, oh, he's all decked in green. The goodest of boys is here. Darren, what's up, man? Hey, <laughs> hey, you popped in. Uh, we're talking about Joker too. What do you think of the trailer? Ooh, I loved the trailer. I really did. I think it's really funny that like. I think like as far as like 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 the first one, there were so many mixed opinions. Like people either really really love it or really really hate it. And I think it's really funny. It's the same thing with this one. It's like it's so split. Like I, like when the trailer first dropped and I hadn't even seen it yet, every other tweet was like, "This is amazing," and then the next one like, "This is the worst thing I've ever seen." And I think that's kind of funny because that's kind of what like the film's about. Like it's about like the, like the riots inside the streets. About like. Is what is, is what he's doing right? Is it okay? And then the other half being like, "Let's go, Joker!" Like King Joker, you know what I mean? So yeah. I think it's, I kind of think they're doing their job by each person having like a different opinion on this thing. But I I, I thought it looked great. I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah, Perfect. they get they definitely dive in more into the mental illness part of it. Yes, because yeah. the, you see one scene where in the trailer he's like running, looks like he's running away from himself. Yeah, like yeah, versions of himself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, I, "What?" <laughs> I actually saw them filming that. That that scene, them filming that scene, got leaked like months and months mm -hmm. and months yeah. ago. Yeah, it was on Twitter. 
So I was like, oh, what's this scene all about? So it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I can't yeah, wait to see it. And I wonder if it's like literally himself chasing yeah. himself, or maybe it's like super fans. That that's what I, that, that's what I would think because kind of at the end of the, the last one, it's a bunch of people being like, oh, wait, I like what he's doing. I'm going to do that too. Kind of like in mm. the, the Dark Knight, right? When there's a bunch of these other Batman being like, I can do that too. Why not? And it's like, no, <laughs> don't do that. No. <laughs> I would not do that. Um, fair point. It's people are prematurely judging. I understand, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think my main issue is the fact that we're getting another one. I don't think we needed mm -hmm. another one. But it made money, too much money not to make another money one. talks. Yeah. That's the thing. So, money talks. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't think is, he, well, sorry. go ahead. No, go ahead. no, I like I don't know if he would have done a second one though if it wasn't like there's really something we want to tell because he he's not a guy that typically does a lot of sequels. He kind of he feels like he makes movies like from the heart. So like it seems like they're actually trying to tell a good story here and not just being like it's money because like there's a chance this one might not even make money. Like I feel like the like the the last one came out at that perfect time, the perfect time, and, and the only reason it, it did so well is because it was so like everyone had like a different take on it. Like no one really knew what to think of the movie. So yeah. And the they, fact that it was probably a standalone as well. It yeah. wasn't connected to anything. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't go see the first one in theater. I might actually oh, yeah. see this one in theater just because I like the first one. Okay. And it kind of makes me want to see the second one to see what else they do. Yeah. So. And I, I saw you were talking about this earlier, Darren. So uh -oh. a new hero show. Yeah. It's crazy. So is it a reboot or is, I, it's, I it's a sequel? It's, it's the third sequel in the. Or the second sequel, I guess. But. Because they did a sequel of Heroes. Yeah. Or like a spinoff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never actually seen them. I've just heard people talk about it over the years. Like, I've heard, like, people say, hey, that first season's amazing, and everything after that's not. So I've been like... Yeah, I've heard that, know. too. I've heard Heroes is really great, and then it dips. Yeah. And I'm like, do I want to invest in a show where right. it just gets bad? I thought about yeah, just watching it. that first season, just doing the one and then. Did quit you it. love all of it, Dan, or just the first season? Like yeah. everyone else? I love the first season, maybe the second, and then by the end of it, I tuned <laughs> out. I didn't even finish yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just but like it was Dan. good for. It was good for for a, a little while. It definitely was. Okay. Yeah, it's for me. It's like I I just don't have a lot of time. So do I want to invest mm -hmm. into a show that it'll just lose me anyways? Like, is it worth it? I don't think so. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Because my it's like example. My wife watched a show that had two seasons, and she knew it had two seasons because it had been canceled. But the way it ends, she didn't know how it's going to end. Ooh, <laughs> she was really mad how it ended because it ended in a really wow. bad spot because they thought they're getting a season three. Mm -hmm. So she was even more mad. I'm like, honey, this is what happens. You got invested to a show that you knew was going to end prematurely, anyways. So you did it to yourself. I feel like I'm in like a weird shot with like shows now where it's like either it's too short and it got canceled and I don't want to start a show that was canceled or it's too long and I don't want to invest 20 seasons into a show. <laughs> That's a good, like you got to find that balance. Yeah. Just like a good five, six season show is great. Well, and <laughs> yeah. On top of that, these newer shows today aren't as long as season no. wise as it used to be, you know, you know, seventies, nope. eighties and nineties where everything was like yeah. 20 something episodes a season. They cranked yeah. out one new episode each week somehow. Like, yeah. How'd they do it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like six, eight, maybe 12 yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I miss it. I, yeah. I got to ask, Def Row, is that your collection behind you? Yes. Or That is beautiful. That it's is a library. Something. <laughs> that's, <laughs> some, that's something else. Oh, my God. He's our blockbuster yeah. of obscure yeah. movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not. Racks? Yes. Uh, racks and movies over there? Yeah, I bought. Uh, there was a rental store nearby that was going out of business, and I bought the racks when they cleared out. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Put them in my office. I mean, they're easy to set up. They just piece together. So, I love it. You should. You should, you. You, should uh, you should do a rental store in your house. I should you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd never get anything back. That's fair point. You can't <laughs> trust me. We'll bring it back. Like. Where is it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Charge him a bunch of money. Yeah, you missed everything. Bring it back for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> ten thousand dollar late fee. You missed everything, Lightning Bolt. We've already talked about everything ever, and we're done already. 
Yeah. yeah we're already done. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, what See does Darren week? think? Darren, do you do you oh. think that Harley was uh, an inmate from that trailer? Oh, that's kind of how I went into it, which was like the one part of the trailer I was kind of like disappointed by because I was kind of curious to see how they would go the other approach to like she's his doctor, and like I always found that to be so fascinating. Oh, like, me too. like me how, too. like, like how do you get into that? Like, how do you fall from grace so far that like you're a you know you go through all that college and you do all these things and you have what well, I think rich parents, right? Like you have all these things, and it's yeah. just like fall for this madman just because you know so i was curious to see that but i'm also curious to see how they translate this version because it feels yeah. like she's not a psychiatrist of this no, definitely I, not definitely yeah. not well she's what? dressed she's dressed so many different ways and, yeah mm. well and, theory wise what if she was mm -hmm. like going to school for that or something in paranormal and then the night that he changed everything mm, it maybe. changed her yeah. And she was in the middle of all this craziness, and then she's like, snapped. Mm -hmm. So instead of him, like psychiatrist wise, and him in Arkham, she broke and changed because of what he did that Maybe. night. Yeah, in the, the city, like that was the turning point for this version. That'd be cool. Yeah, Which would, yeah, it would still work, but they didn't mention anything about a psychiatrist, like whatever. Like she sees him with some policemen outside of a room. It's like, okay, eh. so maybe she's like. That's him. That's the guy that <laughs> did all the shit. That's him. So, yeah, yeah I feel like that's, probably, that's the approach. But who knows? It could all be in his head. Maybe she never existed. She's not real. What if? You know, we don't know. What if she never happened what if once? Happened the last, the last film. I <laughs> but then it, yeah, but I then it would be seen as again. a repeat of the first one. So yeah. I feel like she'll be real. But still, it's like, yeah. It'd be a big uh, reveal, like, oh, she never existed in the first place. I'm probably not going to get this, but uh, maybe it all takes place in the snow globe. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> he just looks in. Anybody and... get that one? It'll go right over. <laughs> right Saint over. It sounds familiar. A Saint Elsewhere and Cemetery Man did that. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe the whole movie is in her head and it's not actually happening. <laughs> yeah. I think most of it is, yeah. Yeah. No. I no, think he's... it's going to... Sorry. No, I think it's going to be like a sh um a shatter island type thing, or like where it's like Ooh. you end the movie and you don't really know what's real and what's not. Like anything like could that. be real, anything could not be real, and you have to you end the movie being like, "Well, let's talk about it. Let's see, like, let's see what we think." That's a good pull because in Shutter Island, you really are thrown for a loop in that movie. I love that movie so much. Yeah, it's so good. It's such so a good reveal because, like, I didn't know the twist was happening when I first watched it because hmm. it had been forever since it's been out. I'm like. And I think back all the times, and you look back at like videos, like you know, showing you like little clues. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit! <laughs> okay, <laughs> it hits like like a freight train when you really look back. Like that was there. Oh, I didn't know because he's right. like fumbling. You have with to rewatch it. Yeah, he's fumbling with the weapon because he's never handled it like that. And they're like, just take it. And then he's sitting there in interviewing other inmates, and there's always a guard in the shot of him. It's like. It's so good, um, but that be uh, yeah because I mean because that was the the big reveal for him for the first movie. He's like, oh yeah, it's the reveal of she, the whole dynamic that he created in his head with her. But yeah, what if it ends where we don't really know anything? Like, what is going on here? Right, we don't know. Right. Be well, big... and uh, it could be it could be you know lying on the floor drooling at the end <laughs> of the movie. And they just do a you know zoom out, and he's just laying there on the floor, and it's all in his head, right? Like you said, so just, and so he's never left to sell the whole movie. So it's yeah. all <laughs> that would suck. That'd be I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> that would suck because like, one of the best lines in the trailer for me when he he was like, "What's different this time is I'm not alone," or something along those lines. Yeah. He said yeah. something like that. So I'm like, if they play this up. Like it's him and Harley against the world, and then it's just in his head. I'm gonna be, <laughs> yeah, out Throw, throwing <laughs> shit at the screen. What the hell yeah. is this? Yeah, I'll give you David Zaslav's number. He's ring Warner Brothers. You can call him up and complain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think the title's good too. It's definitely, I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. It's just Joker 2 to me. It's just that's ah, Joker 2. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, it's cool though. 
Uh, oh yeah, we were talking about the hero stuff. Yeah. Do we think we get like a little Bruce Wayne? Just like a. <laughs> oh, and like in the first one again, but he's like again, he's like, yeah, you're a bad man. <laughs> or, oh, what if they reveal that his parents die during that mm. whole riot thing in the yeah. sequel? I've heard that theory. Yeah, I bet they will. I bet they'll say something. Oh, what if? What if? What the parents if? don't oh. die? And Bruce it's just dies. White- Wife and the Bruce dies, and then it begets that other Batman. Ooh. Shooting. Oh, so we get Flashpoint Batman. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We get the dad as Batman, basically. Okay. Yeah. We're about the guns and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I doubt they'll do that. I want Superman. <laughs> that, I mean, maybe that's why it's a $200 million. Dollar, that's why it's $200 million <laughs> budget. We have a secret <laughs> Batman in this movie we didn't know about. That uh, budget is insane. That is it is just pretty damn dark so far, you know. Yeah. yeah. Just get just just cast Ben Affleck again is whatever. It's fine. Just get yeah. Affleck, <laughs> Who cares? I know they had a version of Bruce Wayne and the the oh, not Bruce Wayne, but Thomas Wayne in the movie, but who cares? Continuity spawn nudity. <laughs> also ain't George Clooney, right? Get George Clooney, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what if I miss? You've missed everything, mercenary. Oh, 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 but we already have a Joker. That's the I think that was the point he was making. Like we don't need a Martha Joker. <laughs> that would be funny though. Like we have just a, a randomly a Flashpoint Joker for some reason. Yeah, that's my co- that's my co-host who just said that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so Brad. we all become the Joker. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's continuity? I mean, that's what Fox was motto was with the X Men stuff. What's continuity? Mm. Hey, sure. Which apparently <laughs> that Deadpool three is apparently not in the MCU. Like, it's in the MCU, but it's not in the MCU Earth. Yet. yet. <laughs> but it will be by the end of the movie, I'm guessing, yeah. So That's kind of the interesting thing about this year, is there's actually not a lot of, like, prime MCU stuff coming out. Like, you have that movie that's set on a separate Earth. Mm-hmm. Most of it's these elsewhere. like, you have your X-Men, you have your Spider-Man, <laughs> you have your what, maybe what if? That might come out this year? I don't know. And y- then you yeah. have your... Uh, Black Panther, which is a prequel show. So there's a lot. There's, I think, the only like current day MCU stuff is Echo and the Agatha show, which is a crazy mashup. Like it's a crazy that those yeah. are the two to be the prime MCU stuff. But it's so kind of cool because it gives us that break. You know, it gives us that break that I think a lot of people have been asking for. Plus, Marvel needed it too because they're yeah. like, oh, we're mm-hmm. fucking up. They needed time to like readjust to be like, all right, we gotta get this yeah. shit together. Yeah, they, got, they got a lot of they got a lot of infighting going on right now anyway. So uh yes, you do. Yeah, I didn't realize we all have beards. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, the longer the beard, the better. And you're you're outnumbered by the gingers too. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I do, I do have some red in my beard at times when it's like you put a lot of light on, you can see yeah. in, in there somewhere. Or we're just sucking the soul out of you. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I need some. That's why. That's why I need my energy. I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I like this. Why not? Who cares? Yeah, Joaquin, Joaquin becomes Batman. Who cares? Right. I Be definitely weird. think there's there's ways you can have like Easter eggs and cameos in this film. Like since it's, I assume most of it's in their head. Like maybe there could be like, Oh, there's a reference to a Batman in one shot over there or something like a, yeah, there's like a comic book right there or something. You know what like I mean? In the first movie when there's like a, a how it's framed, like it, it looks like it's a bat cow yeah. or something in the mirror and stuff, the way it's angled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, they did this in the Batman animated 2000 show. We had, Joker running around with a Batman suit on, which was hilarious. <laughs> He's like, I'm the I'm the dark in the night or whatever. Like he was doing a really bad Batman impression. It was hilarious. <laughs> um I mean just uh, the Sony ones or Marvel and Sony? Yeah, I, I wonder if he's like I think he's asking for both, but I mean because if it's just like the Marvel Sony none. <laughs> oh yeah. no! I, I I guess the Spider Verse stuff, right? That's beyond it. Yeah, that's beyond it, yeah. the Spider Verse. <laughs> that's it. Um, oh, did you guys see the Matt shows? Webb? I'm kind of excited for. I'm I'm excited for like Silk, kind of, and the oh yeah, yeah, the, the Spider Man Noir or whatever. If those happen, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Madam Web was a dumpster fire, Dan. Oh my god! <laughs> I watched, dude. I paid money to rent it just to see how bad it was. I saw it in I theaters. Believe how bad it I was. saw it in oh, theaters. 
I had to see how bad it was. I had to see how bad it was. It's really that bad. Like the reviews are right. It's really that bad. You can find uh, videos online of people laughing at scenes in the theater. Yeah. Like Ugh. it, like the, the the one scene where she's like in the hospital bed, and the girls are around her, is like it's like who is this? Like oh, the, 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 this is my family, or these are my you know yeah. whatever kids. Like oh, like what? <laughs> and people start laughing, and then the shot where she's like in that wheelchair or whatever at the end of the movie, is like cutting yeah. out to it. She's talking, people are like laughing, like <laughs> like how ridiculous this is. I kind of think that makes it slightly better than like some of the others though, just because it is just so like entertainingly bad. Like it's just like, how did this get made type bad? You know what I mean? We're like, yeah. you're 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 Morbius. I was just like, I'm bored. I, I got like no enjoyment out of that movie at all. Where Madame Web, I at least had like fun being like, How did you do this? Why did you do this? <laughs> why is the why is the villain's entire dialogue eighty yard and there's yeah. no way to hide it? It's just what I like. It doesn't match at all with the lips. You think they would have just written it off like they did a couple of other movies, you know? Yeah. Well, I think Sony couldn't do it because Sony was not into like a tax situation, like they bought out or whatever, so they couldn't do that. I'm I'm still glad they didn't do that because I don't I don't think any film should do that. I think if you're going to make a movie, just put it out. But if you're going to do any superhero movie, this would have been the one I'd be like. I wouldn't be devastated, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, they used they used to do this kind of stuff in the '90s just for the yeah. hell of it, and not release it. Yeah, and it was a way to keep the license without actually releasing something. Same point. I've I've, I've said since I saw Madam Web, there's no way you can t- convince me Batgirl was worse than Madam Web. Yeah, no shot. No way you can convince me no. that that was the case. Oh, it test screen bad. Who gives a shit? Test screens yeah. are not reliable in terms of like the wide audience is going to be like, yeah, we agree with the test screens. Yeah. No, it's not how that works. Plus it was screen testing the same as black Adam before black Adam could do fixing, yeah. which still, that wasn't a great movie. It's fun. I mean, they also liked the flash movie and look how that turned out. You know, oh, like, ho, ho, ho. like <laughs> I'm just saying. Not even Nicholas Cage a, could save that movie. Like that's <laughs> such a fever dream. Cause everyone probably was like, this is the greatest thing to ever come out since the history of ever. And it's just like, okay. It's a, it's a pretty <laughs> solid story. Yeah. But it's not amazing. It's not the mm-hmm. worst thing ever, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. The concept right. of the cameos is interesting. Yeah. The execution is a disaster it, with a good portion yeah. of them. Like, yeah. Did you really need to do a CGI Christopher Reeve? No. Mm-hmm. Could you have done an older Helen Slater revealing that her Supergirl has went on for so long and yeah. now we see her and that's the Supergirl we see? Yes. But no. We got to do CGI Christopher Reeve. Yeah. And we have to do a Jake Eric that no one fucking knows. Okay. Can't, can't forget Nicolas Cage with long hair. and. Well, yeah. Well, he, he did, yeah, he did shoot, but he's like, I didn't shoot any of that spider shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest part in that whole movie. I'm we're like, not what? talking. We're not talking about that particular <laughs> fucking scene, though, about the Flash. We're making a point. We that do once, it every time. Yeah, but that, but the difference is, is that here, Warner Brothers released these movies and lost a lot of yeah. money on them, and they did not give Batgirl a shot. I don't know. Uh, fair point too. Aquaman two had horrible. Yeah, yeah. and People that movie isn't out. movie isn't great either. Mm-mm. It's not terrible, but they crammed two stories into one, and it was obvious. Yeah. It was that? I think it was more than two. It felt like it was like ten different movies that they just cut up into different. Well, at least pieces. two main ones: The Lost yeah. Kingdom and then Orm kind of redemption. Yeah. Oh, oh, also, too, I guess the Black Manta Revenge. Like that could have been technically yeah. two separate films. You could have done the Black Manta Orm as a second and then the lost kingdom as a third to end the trilogy. Yeah. But then they realized, Oh, we're not getting a trilogy. Oh shit. All right. We got to cram everything into this one. And I didn't really like either of them. <laughs> I, yeah. like either of those stories. <laughs> I think the, the lost kingdom thing is cool. Like, Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Right. You, you okay. You're going to introduce like a new thing that we've never heard of before. Boom. But it's who, just like, who, Oh, who pl- who's the actor that plays the uh, black man is. Who plays black man? Uh, yeah, yeah, Abdul Mateen or something like that. Yeah. Okay. I actually like him. I don't. Yeah. I don't like him in that role, but I think he's good. He's Wonder he Man was in Marvel. He's, yeah. Oh, is he? 
He's in play oh, yeah? Wonder Man. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's 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 a solid actor. I like him. He's jumping ship. Yeah, he, he's done some pretty good stuff. Like I think he was in the the Candyman reboot or something. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering where I've seen him before, and I was like, he looked so familiar, and I couldn't remember for some reason. Michael Keaton was good in in the Flash. I'll give props. I wouldn't say only good thing. Oh, that's a fair point too. I like but Supergirl. I, I, oh, I yeah, Supergirl so I. yeah, I really was hoping that I get it new universe i hope they find something yeah. for sasha to do in the dcu that'd be cool that'd be cool and speaking of michael keaton uh everybody seen the beetlejuice 2 uh, mm. trailer yes that looks yeah. interesting that's interesting i'm excited it looks really good mm-hmm. uh, the juice is loose like uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's interesting they were putting that out in the, the theaters first before they put out the trailer in online like okay because that's that's it leaked online like oh it's leaked because it was it was shown in a theater but then they were removing that shit quickly like uh uh-uh copyright it's like but it's in theaters put it out online but i guess like an exclusive kind of thing they were trying to do but i like that it was kind of simple and it didn't have a lot of like big reveals it was just okay it's jen ortega you we all love jen ortega here she is and then we're gonna have a a, two shots well a behind the head shot and then the juice is loose, and then a close-up shot, and we're done. It make, it yeah. makes you wonder uh, what the reason he's that he's summoned again, because that's what's going through my head. Because the whole reason he was summoned before it was the two ghosts that summoned him. So yeah. who summoned him this time? I bet Jen Ortega did by accident. Yeah, probably the daughter. That's what's making yeah. it so interesting for me. Plus that you know the original. Uh, director writer is still involved with it not yeah tim burton else. yeah yeah tim burton and i'm glad that he a little bit more faith in it i think he did pretty good with, with the wednesday show because he directed four episodes yeah. and developed and helped develop and work on that show so i thought that was kind of cool Ooh, the ben 10 green Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> love it love it um where are you at point. inside the show <laughs> Uh, I have not got past uh, the beautiful alien swarm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll probably watch it for, probably Friday. I hope you're liking one. season three. <laughs> it's a season, all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will say there's good stuff coming. There is good stuff coming. That's so. what I hear. That's what I hear. People are saying the next episode's good. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I have no idea what the next one is. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, fair point. Like, I mean, I think she was underused in the movie. Yeah. To for be sure. honest. I hate the fact that we're not getting her again, though. But Millie Alcock, though, fantastic in House of the Dragon. So She's I'm great. hopeful yeah. for her Supergirl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad they did cast someone new. I think most people should be new, but it's just a tragedy how she was treated. Like, just yeah. a bad situation for her. She had she had to be doing a lot of heavy lifting for the promotion because Michael yeah. Keaton's like, I'm gonna do the bare minimum because I'm Michael Keaton, <laughs> and they're like, we can't hey, can't really use the star to promote it. So, Sasha, let's talk about Supergirl forever. <laughs> I mean, I think it'd be better if she had more stuff in the movie than it would be easier to kind of talk about. Because yeah. there's not a lot. Of, I mean, I think she shot more than was actually shown. I think they cut a lot of her stuff out. I don't know. Ooh, a Wonder Woman. I don't hate it. I can see it. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you go from Supergirl to Wonder Woman, like, would that be jarring for mainstream audiences or like just regular people? Like, would that throw them off? Like, huh? I don't know. I don't think enough people watch The Flash <laughs> for people to be like, "What?" You know what I mean? Like, people watched it, but I don't think enough people watched it to be That's like, "That's a fair point." No. <laughs> what? Huh? That yeah, character it's... from the movie I didn't watch is crazy. <laughs> it's a new universe, so just do whatever you want. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. The people have been theorizing how they're getting Henry Cavill in DCU. Guys, stop! Like, they're not doing. It's, it, it'll happen eventually, probably, but give it a minute. Yeah, give it a couple years. Would Millie have to play a Power Girl if they did ever did that, or could Sasha? Um, they could. 
Yeah. Maybe. There's rules for them. Yeah. Shit, they could even do uh, the Crime Syndicate and have a version of Supergirl, yeah, and they could be Sasha. That. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Zod. Castro is Zod. Sasha Zod. Let, <laughs> let the internet blow up. Zod's gonna <laughs> woke. The woke she, propaganda is she, here. She has, a, she has like a little <laughs> evil mustache and stuff. So, a soul patch like, I am Zod. <laughs> huh? Zod. I am Zod. I'm here to take over the planet. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird visual to have now. Jesus. Oh, Man, Zod. Recast background. I mean, they will. They're gonna get a new background. Well, technically they don't have to. But they probably will. But because she didn't talking never... about this. You earlier inside the yeah. day, and it was like, if I was that actress, I would never get an email from that company ever again. I'd be like, no, like you block all contact. Up. Yeah, I'd be like, well, absolutely not. I couldn't do it. I mean, they they brought Clooney back. Why not just get Silverstone back and uh, put her as back girl? <laughs> 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 and while you're at it, just get uh, O'Connell's uh, Robin too. Because <laughs> chicks dig the car, so Superman works alone. Like <laughs> I. Delicious Silverstone. Don't remind me of Batman and Robin. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, they, they did it themselves. They brought Clooney back. Fair point. They did. Imagine they all just got out of the vehicle for that movie. <laughs> it's just a clown car. <laughs> it's like all the Batman. <laughs> Val Kilmer, Christian Bell, Michael Keaton. Who gives a shit? All of them come out. Ben Affleck. Stephen Amell just comes out like, I'm here too, guys. Hi. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong wrong car. I meant to jump into the wannabe Batman car. Sorry. Let me get back in the vehicle. <laughs> That's in the next scene. <laughs> That's good, Stephen. <laughs> That's Stephen Amell. I'm Oliver, Qu I'm Oliver Queen. Hi. Where I'm Bruce Wayne or whatever. Which he named was Bruce Wayne and Arrow, so makes sense. Yep. Um, I did get the nostalgia of sinking Keaton's Batman again, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Yeah, that's true. They thought it would be more. It also came out at a really, really bad time. Like June was packed last year. Yeah, so many. Like, what was it? Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Transformers, Spider Verse. Um, yeah. Oh, what else? There's Guardians came stuff. out in May, so that yeah. was still kind of. It was there. still in theaters. Yeah, yeah. there's a couple other big stuff. I'm. I'm uh, the Pixar movie, um, the, um, the Elementals. Yeah, the, Elementals. the Elementals is out. Wh yeah, which was starting to go up because people are like, "Oh, it's yes. a good movie." Yeah. And then the they had that Dream DreamWorks movie as well that no one watched. Um, the Ruby and the Kraken. Oh, or whatever. that Kraken movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing trying to start going. What is this? Yeah, and then uh, no one like no, I, I don't know. They they marketed that thing weird. That was, yeah, and it wasn't that good either. So like there wasn't really enough to attach people to it either. So it's not like oh, it didn't get much money, but at least it's good. It was like it's whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it if the, they should have delayed it or done something for a release yeah. date to better. I mean, I don't know if it would have made much of a difference. It kind of just feels like a streaming movie. Like it, it, it's it's just kind of there. Not much to. It's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. It's done because we're probably not gonna see the Flash for a while in the DCU. So. Definitely not a movie. I I think I could see Flash appearing in like other people's projects. I I just yeah. a movie is not gonna happen. Or even like there's rumors of like a Teen Titans. So I could see like a Wally West that like introduction. Yeah. Like you can be like, oh, I'm the mentor, or like he's my mentor. He appears in the movie, mm -hmm. and then. We do stuff later on once people like them, but you feel yeah. like the you feel like the Flash is like the uh, the Hulk version of DC because Hulk had <laughs> Hulk had this own movie right with Edward yeah. Norton, yeah. and ever since then they won't do another one. Yeah, well that's copyright. That's, that's right. like a, well, they, that's only right been, he's only been in Avengers since then though. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Oh, it's hard to write for the whole. It's going to be the same idea though. I think yeah, he would just, just have other movies. People. Yeah. Or team up movies I'd love, like a cyborg and like Ooh. Flash movie or something. Like yeah, have, like which, the what they Flash were gonna Batman do originally. They were yeah. gonna do that originally, yeah. 
at one point. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get. Uh, I like uh, Joy Pad's uh, statement just now. Uh, Wally, Wally, Wally West. Yeah, bring oh, yeah. the gin. Get the ginger. I, uh, flash. Of course, you want the ginger. I think they will. <laughs> the ginger I, flash. I, I, I don't think he's going to start off as the main flash, but I think we're going to see his journey into be, being be, becoming the main flash. Like I think Wally's going to. I think Barry's yeah. going to die in like the first chapter, and then he has to be like, oh shit, I got to step up. <laughs> we'll kill, we'll kill him in the first five minutes of the movie, and then we. Jesus. <laughs> no. Uh, well, he's been off counts for a while. He's backstage. I'm going to bring him in. Welcome to the show, Taylor, man. What's up? How's it going? How you guys doing? Hey, tonight? what's up, man? What's up? Uh, once again, talking about DC. That's fine. I mean, I'm sporting my Superman shirt, so it works out. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that logo. Yeah, that logo, yeah. W- which was not supposed to be photographed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The one that uh, everyone was like, don't share it. It got shared. Yeah, I think one of the one of the freaking theaters shared it on their Instagram. Yeah, Cinemark <laughs> shared it. And and Cinemark's they, like Superman. That was like that was when everyone got the fair game. When like Cinemark was like, "Hey, guess what we did?" And all the people who were like, "We were told not to share, but we're sharing your shit, so let's do this." With, within the same <laughs> thing, got they, it. they show the image of the Superman logo, and then they go, "Also, the Superman Christopher Reeve, like it's not the same thing." Yeah. <laughs> like that documentary <laughs> that they put yeah. it together in the same image. I'm like, ah. No, I mean, I'm really looking forward to Superman, like that movie, the Super Slash Man, the Chris Reeve doc. It's supposed to yeah. come out, I think, August or September of this year, and yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really down on it. Like, it sounds so good. Yeah, um, yeah. There's not a lot of people that really, uh, if you've seen any other of his movies, the guy was a great actor. Yeah, his, he I was, mean, he was, he was a beast, and yeah. he, he the. He unfortunately did this. It kind of went the same route with him and George Reeves, where like George wanted to get past the Superman stuff, and no one ever saw him other than Superman. And same thing happened to Christopher, so that's why he kind of left acting and eventually uh, had his accident. Yeah, but uh, they were both really good in everything they did in their own rights, and it was just it's such a shame that that kind of happened that way. And I feel like that's the whole thing with Tom Welling with the Smallville supposed curse, because he was like afraid to wear the the S. Yeah, but yeah. I actually, I, when I spoke to him uh, a couple of years back, he said that he's kind of down to do it now just because of how the fans want it. So if yeah. there ever comes an opportunity where this, they say, let's let's put a suit on you, he'll say, hell yeah, let's put it on. Yeah. So they ha- crisis happened, didn't happen. They were like, oh, well, we, we don't have powers anymore. Oh, that was how he wanted to, to wrap up that kind of epilogue. So, yeah. which makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But they're also still down to do, uh, they've still been pitching. He and uh, Rosenbaum have been pitching. Uh, a continuation the show yeah so which they did mean, that in the comics right like a season yeah. 11 yeah. season 11 the comic and that was a that was a weird comic because uh batman his uh his robin was kind of like an amalgamation of robins but it was uh it was i think it was supposed to be like a nightwing version of carrie kelly so mm-hmm. it was uh it was cool i i really dug the uh smallville superman suit i liked i really like when um <laughs> superman suits have like the multiple tones of, of blue Mm-hmm. Um, I just think it's such a cool design where you have like the other other layers of just one big blue suit of underwear. So I think it's pretty cool when you have like all the other all the other details to it. So yeah, that's that's my hope for the new uh, the new Superman suit for the movie is that it's not just a solid blue suit that there's more to it. Well, you remember what was it the early two thousands in the comics somewhere around there? I didn't collect Superman. I had a younger brother that collected Superman. And I just kind of like breezed through his comics every now and again. And they did that whole thing where he split into two Supermen. Ah, the lightning Supermans, the red and yeah, the blue. Yeah, it was one's yeah. blue and one's red. And I was like, I hope they never try to tap into that as far as the movie. <laughs> they should never do this. I would legitimately so love like an Easter egg like that. And like, <laughs> even if it is something like, um, like Mr. Mitchell Plenick or whatever, just being like, remember that time? And he's like, yeah, we don't talk about it. And just like a quick flash of him as two different <laughs> yeah. people. Like yeah. something, some kind of a fan nod. That would just be so much fun if they just acknowledged how ridiculous that was. Yeah, that was a weird era. I mean, I was, I was like, what in the world are they doing? Yeah, that was, and that was, uh, that was around the time where Superman had the, uh, yeah, the hippie hair, where he had, he had the big mullet when he's Superman, but had the ponytail when he was Clark, and apparently no one caught that on either. <laughs> <laughs> was that also around the time the death of Superman, or was that a, yeah, because he had longer hair when he came back? Time. Yeah, it was just yeah. like. I mean, I get it because he's been gone for a while and shit. But we well, had know. cowboy boots and everything. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. I mean, he's from the 
<laughs> He's from the farmlands. I mean, of yeah. course he would have done that at least one point in his life. Yeah. Fair point. Uh, okay. That's why I got a message from someone who's going to come on in a bit. Um, there were three Supermans in crisis. He totally didn't lie. <laughs> yeah, like they, that was supposed to happen. Yeah. But he didn't lie, but they were supposed to be in a scene together. Yeah, so yeah. there was actually a lot of stuff that was uh, on the drawing, like on the they had plans, like they had a yeah. ton of plans to do. Yeah, um, they couldn't do more than half of it. And it's funny much. enough, yeah. all the stuff that I heard that they wanted to do, they actually threw into those crisis comics that they did a tie in for. Mm-hmm. And there's some great stuff in those comics that you're like, wow, yeah. if they had more money, like if they had any money at all, <laughs> this would have been fantastic. Yeah, yeah, they wanted Linda Carter as Wonder Woman to yeah. show. Yeah, they, they wanted Krypton stuff. Yeah, there's a lot they wanted to do. I heard they yeah. wanted also Mark Hamill as Joker if they could have pulled it cool. off. They also wanted Michael Rosenbaum to play both Lex Luthor and Flash, and have ooh like him Wally. do two different roles simultaneously. Um, but he said no because they offered. They basically was like, "It's a pro bono gig. Like you just do it for the fans." And he's like, "No, yeah. I'm not flying to Canada for that. <laughs> Don't Shame blame him for nothing." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, I think he also said too when he was pitched Lex specifically, he was like, "Okay, so what's my scene? Oh, we—it's ha- not written yet. Oh, so you want me to agree to something I haven't seen yet? Like I can't right. physically see the scene. So they were just kind of figure out how could they do it. Yeah. And I figured, I guess it would play into the Tom Welling Smallville stuff. Yeah, but or maybe it would be a scene with John Cryer's Lex at some point. But or maybe it, even part of the same sequence, like John shows up and sees Lex President Lex and says." Where the hell Superman? And he's like, oh, he's on his farm. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. This... And, and, and so that they, they <laughs> just didn't write it out. They didn't know what to do. Because they're yeah. also trying to structure, how are we going to get five hours of TV or 40-ish minutes of TV right. with commercials yeah. into five episodes? And how are we going to manage it? Because yeah. also they're like, oh, we've finished shooting. Can you add Ezra Miller into And like, we didn't, we don't have plans for that. <laughs> well, can you do it anyways? Well, that was actually yeah. the big, that was actually because of Jim Lee. Like he wanted that that cameo in there because he wanted to make sure that the uh, the creators remember us would yeah. realize that the movies count too. So let's yeah. at least tie the movies together. And also the movies coming, which didn't come for a number of years still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, which I am glad that they actually like got to do that. Like as weird as that cameo is now with like all that's happened since then, like it is cool yeah. that they were able to get a movie person like in the, yeah. the show. Like that was so and, sick. It broke the internet, if I remember yeah. correctly. Like when that when that first happened, everyone was like, "Oh, we're expecting this and this." And they're like, everyone had no idea it was going to be the Flash yeah. and like an actual scene. Yeah, because a lot of the, a lot of that off. cast was revealed yeah. in the trades before the episodes aired. Yeah. So and they pulled that yeah. off. <clears throat> yeah, that was really the only thing that we didn't know about or was leaked. Like the only other thing was yeah. the like was the um was the Lucifer stuff. But like even that was rumored. Like we had heard it and then he was like, oh I was at a birthday party. I was I, that wasn't filming that. Oh yeah. Canada graphs. <laughs> Canada graphs re- like revealed that shit. Yeah. I remember the morning he did it, I'm like, oh God. Oh no, he's mad. Because someone was like screwing with him while he's trying to take photos. Like, all right, I'm gonna spoil it then. <laughs> he was just <laughs> Can was being an ass that day. It's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He was just mad at people. Um, yeah, Marv Wolfen, that was awesome to see him interacting yeah, with Flash cool. and Supergirl. And he's like, can you can you put my name M A R? Like he was yeah, Marv. <laughs> it was such a funny <laughs> little cameo for people who had no idea. It was just pretty great. It was a good oh, moment. Yeah. And then that's when they're like, "Wait, we're on the same Earth. Like, what are you doing here?" Like, it was a good little oh, reveal. Cool. And then unfortunately, COVID and. Kind Everything of ruined else. the ending, yeah. but still, it was a great like setup. Like what it could be if we didn't have COVID. Like okay, we can get a lot more yeah. crossover. Was it also stuff. the uh, the same episode where like uh, when uh, Brandon Routh's Adam uh, looks sees Supergirl for the first time, and he's like, "You look a lot like my cousin." And like, yeah, that was in the crisis. Yeah, at one point, yeah. he's like, "Yeah," and then she was like, looks a lot like my cousin. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. And also, well, well, he he also met Superman. Like he met, yeah, the Kingdom Come Superman. He's like, and then like, oh, like, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, because she looks at you know you know Clark, and he's like, hey, uh, hey, hey, Ray, and like, oh no, though, that's just your cousin, not 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 Ray. The other one, <laughs> yeah, the other one, yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was good stuff. Uh, I enjoyed you, it for what it was. Did you see the Beetlejuice <laughs> trailer, uh, Taylor? Oh yeah. 
yeah, that movie so looks. I like how uh, they couldn't get the dad back for whatever reason. I think maybe he's just done. But like the the trailer shows <laughs> his funeral right off the bat. Like, oh, by the way, he's he's dead. But that's why they're oh, all here. Alec, in town it's again. Alec Baldwin, right? No, no, it was. Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, f- <laughs> who's that? The right, he, he he's not in business anymore for mm, reasons. Uh, yeah. But I thought um, it was Alec Baldwin is the dad. Wait, am I missing? No, no, he was the, the guy. Original... He was in Ferris Bueller. He was the principal in Ferris Bueller. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name. He was in a lot of movies in the nineties, and then just stopped all at once. Um, yeah. What is that guy's Wait, name? Jeffrey was Jones. I... Jeffrey Jones. I thought he, I thought Alec Baldwin was in the first movie. Am I drunk? No, Al, yeah, Al he... Baldwin was the ghost. Yes, he was the, yeah. the it was the couple, the, the Gina, original owner of the house, Gina Davis and Al, Al Baldwin. Wow, for the two really ghosts. Yeah, let me look. Let me look up. Uh, Jeffrey Jones, the uh, he was the dad, the normal one of that family, and uh, in the trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is his death that brings Lydia and the daughter back to town. Okay, well, they would obviously have to kill him off because they couldn't use him as an actor anymore. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and if you look up his history, you know why. Yeah, there's if you know, you know. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's he's a bit of a pervert. <laughs> like yeah. that's all you got to say. Like, for those of you who know, like yeah, uh, he's got some got some shit. <laughs> so, oh Jeffrey Jones. Yeah, yes. he's he's a, a registered pervert now. <laughs> so, oh yeah, there that's you all go. you got to say. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's why: because Alec Baldwin is listed second in the credits for the film. In the original film or the new film? In the original. Yeah, because oh, so he yeah. was. You could kind of argue that he and Gina Davis were the main characters. Yeah, so, that's why it was throwing me off. I'm like, wait a minute, like I got it, I got things confused. I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. But it's kind of hard to get them back because they both got older and Alec Baldwin got wider. So I don't think it would really work for him to pretend that he's 25 again. Well, and Alec Baldwin shot somebody too. So he well, yeah, I mean him. he's <laughs> I mean, he, he might got, be having other got exonerated, but he still shot someone. So I don't yeah. know if anyone wait, is he I thought he was still in court over that. No, they arrested the uh, the the weaponsmith or whatever the the person. Oh, um, they arrested her for giving him a, a live gun instead of a prop gun. But he still, I don't know. Still I mean, pointed, he's still he still pointed, pointed at the her. gun at the at the stunt yeah. person, and then like went like pow pow and like obviously killed her. So, I mean, Ooh. I have enough experience with firearms to know that if you have a prop gun, they don't feel like real guns. They have a different weight to them. So. Whatever the hell he thinks he was, whatever his excuse was. Yeah. No. There's that shit was crazy. There's different there's a, a different weight to a real gun. I mean, prop guns are made to look as real as humanly possible. Yeah. And most of the time they are modified real guns. But when they're modified, they do still have a different weight to them because they don't work the same way. So if he's doing multiple scenes, all of a sudden he's like, Wow, this new gun that you gave me is way heavier, but I'm still gonna point it at someone. Like that's still insane to me. Mm-hmm. Fair point. Well, they're also they're like they were at the time they were just like you know just kind of practicing. They had no idea they were they weren't yeah. even shooting. Or I think they were running film, but they weren't like actually shooting. Like prepared. Like okay, we're gonna. This is gonna be. A, this could be a take. Yeah. So, but there's also all those rumors, all that behind the scene gossip of all the stuff saying that Alec had it like had it in for her and kept trying to get her fired from the film anyway. So there was oh, a lot God. of people saying that there was legitimate reason why he would have threatened her with a prop gun because but then, but then again th- that goes to the whole thing of hearsay yeah yeah like what do we actually know you gun know extra taylor yeah um i i am not scared of them i've always felt that the best approach to uh not have a gun accident is to know how to use them and how to keep them safe so um, the worst thing you can do is hand someone a gun who's inexperienced so if you're experienced with them you can at least find a way to prevent from hurting yourself or someone else with them so point yeah, i mean one of the first things you learn was when i was a kid with my parents was treat every gun like it's loaded yeah never put your finger on the trigger unless you're aiming to shoot someone so or something yeah or <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> not just someone <laughs> <laughs> well i mean someone in the the broad but, sense of like that's the target shoot the target like that's yeah. even don't, don't shoot the director yeah yeah <laughs> uh i don't know well, i mean I, I mean, I, he's I in deep so many no questions what. on how that happened. I'm just like, they're. I, mean, I, like I, I don't know how you come back from that after that you go through them and all that, especially when. I don't know. 
Who's know. who else is supposed to be in that movie that he was shooting with? Jensen Ackles. Who's, Jensen Ackles was supposed to be in it. Too. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I'm I'm wondering if he's gonna kind of like back off from that, or if he's maybe. Gonna... There's so many, I don't even know if the movie's still gonna even happen. I mean, there's so much controversy around it. Like, I was thinking, uh, you know that in the movie Tropic Thunder, like the whole we spent five four hundred million over budget, and then like the movie that ended up getting made was the uh, the movie about the drama surrounding the production. That's what we're probably gonna get at this point. We're not gonna actually get the movie. We're gonna get the movie <laughs> about all the shit that happened while they were trying to make it. Yeah. So yeah, I saw, so I see this here. So they did finish shooting it last year. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's been done for a while. Yeah. But. Alex in the movie, Patrick Scott McDermott. Uh, what as Lucas Hollister, Brad Braddy Noon was originally cast but exited when pr- production resumed. Travis Fabel from Vikings is in it. Oh. Um. Jensen Ackles was in the film, but he dropped uh, mm. and was replaced by a guy named Josh Hopkins. Oh, okay. okay. So Jensen I mean, was originally, but I don't know when Jensen dropped. I think he might have dropped probably when they were resuming. He probably was unavailable. Oh, it says here, by May 2023, when the, the character played with Josh Hopkins was confirmed to have replaced that of Ackles, who had left because of scheduling conflicts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, don't know if that's true because he might have exited because of the controversy, but it says yeah. scheduling. They always say scheduling conflicts. Well, I mean, you, well, can I say, know. you can say scheduling, but it's also like he was filming the boys and said, like, I'm dipping because yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, so, that's fair know, point, that's definitely yet yeah, better. He's very even though, busy, I, don't, even though yeah. I'm not, I don't watch the boys, but still, everything about his character is like it's kind of what I imagined like a realistic Captain America would be like, oh, he's kind of an old timey racist. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah, yeah I, hear, a, I hear he's, I hear he's good. He was it. he was the other guy that that wasn't Steve Rogers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They picked the other guy, not Steve, and that's how you. That's what you ended up with. Yeah, it's a, it's a great show. Every scene that he's in steals the scene. He's so um, good. He's so good, and I love his 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 like I guess spoilers, but his like his interaction with Homelander just the. You're, I'm just so disappointed in you. <laughs> like all of that was like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, I love the boys. Such a good show. Yeah. Uh oh, don't mention the boys in front of this guy. Which guy? Uh I don't watch it. It's fine. People if people love it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, fine. So, well, what about it? Here. I guess people need to kind of realize that the boys is essentially the modern day Robocop, where Robocop was 80s satire and the boys is modern day satire. Yeah. Everything they do in that show is meant to be a caricature and parody of modern day mm-hmm. politics and current events. And there is, it's very on the nose with a lot of it, which is actually pretty cool, but it's also like done in a way where when you see people like, Oh, I, I agree with Homelander. I'm like, ah, you, I, do you see what you're doing? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so many things where they're, they're trying to make it as on the nose as possible, but in a way that's not on the nose, which yeah. is, Pretty clever writing, in my opinion. Well, what about Invincible? Has anybody been, been watching that? So good. Oh, it's I love Invincible. Season two is great. Ten out of ten. Well, well, they, they couldn't land the uh, the same uh, cameos that they had in the comics, but obviously uh, Disney sucks, so they couldn't make that work. Well, I think I think it worked out for the best. That's yeah, I mean, the, what they got was pretty great, but it, yeah. it wasn't what they had in the comics. In the comics, they. They were able to basically do here's Spider Man without the webbing, but it's close enough to where you know exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <clears throat> yeah, they. Uh, so, are you caught up on the the show so far? This chainsaw. Rest yeah. Of you? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I won't be spoiling anything if I say something. I'm just asking. You just are asking. Hey, sorry everyone. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, okay. Thanks. For, thanks for having me on. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Ha- have a nice stream. Thanks, man. And I'll see you guys around. See you, man. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye boy. Who was that guy? Who, who the was fuck was that? Who was that dude? <laughs> Never seen him before in my Who's life. Who's Scooter Duder? How did he get onto this stream? I think he, I think he hacked him here. <laughs> he hacked him. He, he hacked him. <laughs> was he your friend? Oh, no. I thought he was yours. I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> he with you? I thought he was with you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so bad. I feel horrible. Holy Sorry. Shit. Um, 
Is right. the authority? No, I, the, I forgot. I forgot to DCU, send the link to somebody. Oh. Or, uh, will be, so the the authority is. I've always kind of compared it as like the authority is not so much like uh, the boys, but it's more like uh, like the Minutemen from Watchmen, where like the end justifies the means, but they're still doing what they think is the right thing. Yeah. While the boys are, and the boys, the um, the seven are a corporate. Yeah, they're a corporate entity. A corporate entity made to keep them in power and in sense of they're not only like the corporate entity, it's like, oh yeah, so the authority is the proactive just league. It's essentially like an entire team of people of um Ozymandias, where they're like, We're gonna save the world, and it's gonna suck for some people because we're gonna hurt some there's gonna be collateral damage, but we're gonna do the right thing in the long run. And that's kind of the authority in a nutshell. Um uh, Exactly. Not as extreme as Ozymandias was in the in the yeah. Watchmen, but they are. Uh, he would he would like them, I think. <laughs> like I think he'd be like, I can get behind these guys, um, because they are they they've done some pretty fucked up stuff. <laughs> so they're not like they're not like the Justice League, but they're like if the Justice League was more of the anti heroes, I guess you could say. I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at someone behind stage holding his pinky out when he's drinking out of a fucking Pepsi cup. <laughs> <laughs> he's so high class with his drinking. What's going now, on, look, fellas? Look at this dude. That's oh, the way yeah. you do it. I literally send you the link right before you go spooter doo. Yeah, it was perfect timing. You summoned me. <laughs> Stole my spot. Do you have, have oh. Yeah, I apologize. I have beef, I have yeah. beef with you. I was kidding. It's Kendrick Lamar versus Drake all over again. Yo, boy. Yo, boy. <laughs> Meet me in the ring. Instead of this, like, men. WrestleMania 41, here we go. Fuck Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. <laughs> Council <laughs> creators, let's go. <laughs> we could probably get is. that streaming on uh, maybe, like, Tubi. I don't know if we'll get Netflix, but we could probably get Tubi. <laughs> Uh, probably YouTube not red. anymore. Tubi's tightening up their stuff. Apparently, they're, Roku. They're, they're, stream on Roku. <laughs> yeah, I got a Roku. I'll, I'll get sponsored by Roku. I got that. I was Yahoo I was TV. That. Apparently, uh, he doesn't do the uh, the whole um. Uh, it was kind of like the open source thing that they did, where if you were just like a random low budget filmmaker, you could submit to Tubi. And they're like yeah. they're going away from that, which sucks. Yeah, hmm. there, there was, there was a there was a uh, writer director I was talking to through email. He was going to try to go through Tubi, and now I think that's been cut off for him as well. Aww. Yeah, and I talked to a few people who were like, "Yeah, I was putting my movie on there," and now they said we have to do something else, and I said, "To hell with that." So, Aww. fucking fascists! I don't know. I just said that. Those Tubi fascists. Goddamn fascists. Fascists. Goddamn nihilists. That damn low budget free app. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that, what, what was it? It was I IMDB used to have their own free one too. And then they switched it up and now they call it freebie. Yeah. Something like that. Be, um, what was it called? It was IMDB. It was just like Oh, no, then, they, then they renamed it something else, so like Amazon yeah, Freebie, something, and now it's Freebie. Yeah, and it's some weird ass name like that. I mean, it's yeah, Freebie's a thing on Amazon, so yeah, and it, it, it's an app by itself too. If you oh, okay. Buy out, so it's just yeah, like, yep. they had they had some decent stuff in there through Amazon to watch on Freebie, but I don't like ads. <laughs> so. Same. I've become accustomed to a higher standard of living. I, not I do not want ads in my life. Now, yeah, I need an ad blocker in life. Just on everything. <laughs> everything. I don't even see Someone billboards. To you. Have you heard of this? No. I block you. I block you. Now there is there there is an app that you can get for free if you have like a library card to a public uh, library that's tied to the uh, federal government or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's called Canopy. I don't know if y'all yeah, heard of that one. I've heard of that one. I think yeah. I have. It's pretty nice if you want to watch like some a lot of Criterion stuff. Because mm. they get are, a shit ton of ask, Criterion. Uh, are we allowed to talk about X-Men 97 spoilers? Because that, that comment in there is pretty... Um, uh, I made the mistake. of sitting, I was at work and I was watching it on my lunch break. And I was like, oh shit! Like really loud at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what happened? I'm like... It's Nothing. a cartoon. Don't judge me. <laughs> Everyone was getting all mad. I need therapy after. I, was, I don't. 
uh, like, I know a few people who work on that show, and they're, I'm like, guys, and they're like, did you see the Game of Thrones moment? I'm like, that's what you guys called it? <laughs> so, yeah, it's was, really I, funny. I don't know who's all seen it. So I've, I've seen it. Johnny? I haven't seen a single Obviously. frame of the X-Men animated show, unfortunately. Johnny, there are mutants in this show. <gasps> like in WandaVision? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's mind-boggling, yeah. dude. Yeah. Al- Al- wow. Ralph's yeah. boners in it. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sold. I'm watching it right now. I'm about to leave so I can go <laughs> see Ralph's boners. Right. Oh, through. yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, I was like severely pissed off at that thing. Like when I saw that, I'm like, "Fuck this show!" Like I mean, that. I'm like, "That's what we got." Like they built us up for an, a dick joke. Like I was pretty so sick dick joke, if you ask me. Like good for them for stringing us along like that, but like at the same time, how fucking dare they? Yeah. How dare they? Indeed. It was one of the moments of all time. <laughs> Yeah, it sure happened. So it definitely fact, was a thing that happened. <laughs> I forget how you pronounce his name, but Bayo, B- B- the guy who was the main showrunner. Oh, mm. his cameo in this episode? You saw it, right? Well, that he's following me on Twitter. Oh, okay. As of today. Yeah, so cameo, let's go. <laughs> yeah, and I DM'd him say, Hey, thanks for the show because you did a really good job. And I'm like, well, and see if he messes you back and go, so uh I don't know if you have an NDA because I know everything. I, I don't know what went down exactly, but <laughs> you wanted to come on this because he's openly responding to everybody on fucking Twitter today about it. So I'm like, yeah, hey, if you ever want to come on, I, I don't know if you could talk about it like in a in this kind of format. You're on Twitter though, so I'm assuming you don't have an NDA. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you can still be on social media and not talk about things. Like I was just talking with uh, the actor who played Sunspot yesterday, and oh wow, he was like. I read, I recorded everything, and I have no idea anymore. He's like, I'm just watching it like a fan because <laughs> I didn't get to see the full scripts. So he he has no idea what's coming, um, which is pretty cool that they did that. Um, it's, it's probably for the best, right? Yeah, I think so. So they don't get spoilers, <laughs> or well, they don't reveal something, you know? They probably only had their stuff too, right? So they probably like don't know the full scope of the story. Well, he said that the way they did the recording for this show, um, it was kind of like the original X Men show where they just like they did it all at once. He said he recorded all of his lines about two years ago. Mm, and wow. did I lose a, a runner somewhere? Sorry, I'm trying to build a Gundam kit while I'm talking, and I, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find an entire card of pieces. It says I need to find card D. What the fuck is card D? It's a card with a D on it. Yeah, no, I know. But it's I, not know here. I have a card, dude. Ah, <laughs> I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's just like this little thing. Okay, that's frustrating. I dropped it on the floor. I found it. Okay. It Yay. This thing. Okay. Um, he said that they did all the recordings separately, and he was given the scripts only for his sections. So yeah. he didn't get to actually see. Um, everything so he's like i know what happens with my character versus conversation of what i said <laughs> that's about it uh this this episode had a lot of 90s in it let's put i mean it had a lot of 90s yeah i mean you just throw you just threw ace of base in the middle of the whole thing too they did and i remember a buddy of mine was like is that i'm like that's exactly who that was like and he's like hell yeah and i'm like <laughs> Only you would care. Uh, <laughs> they should show in some '90s Metallica. Fuck it. Well, see, I have, I have a, I I have an, old, I have an older brother that's six years older than me, and that's all he listened to. <laughs> yeah, Tupac there, and he's like dropping like shit that he's not dead. Like first off, fuck your bitch and the click you click. <laughs> <laughs> that should definitely be in the next episode. Start. Oh now. yeah, just start off with hit him up. Yeah, go crazy. <laughs> hey. Tupac didn't die. He's just on Genosha. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh well, if you, if you watch episode five, he might. Be yeah, he may still have well, survived. Two not anymore. Oh, Jesus. He just got blipped, dude. He's fun. Oh. He just woke up in Cuba. <laughs> I talk to him all the time. Just you know, I bet you oh. know that's that's actually legitimately one of the questions I have is like, I mean, we have one big death, which is obviously on screen and confirmed, but the other big one, yeah, were the Sentinels actually vaporizing people, or were they like? transporting them like that's what i'm like i'm really hoping that yeah. it was like some teleporter beam that wasn't just like eviscerating big ass characters like that yeah i was like 
okay because this i, didn't I mean see it a was, body <laughs> yeah like just that whole uh the remember that stuff like that was a pretty cool i was like okay if you're gonna go out with, like a boss that's the way to do it yeah you got a fucking well, and, and, and they uh, showed they showed uh shit can i say anything can I mean, just... <laughs> Does everyone I mean, in the comments consent to us spoiling I, the I crap think, out of X-Men 97? I, I think people here are like, yeah, like they're all like all being sad and shit over. So, yeah, fuck it. Spoiler yeah. warning if anyone has Spoilers. You see Cable show up. Yeah, yeah and he actually. Josh Brolin. It. <laughs> it, like it that, is Josh. Actually. Oh, I'm, I'm double sold. Ralph Boner and Josh Brolin. I'm there, dude. <laughs> no, but so like what they, the, the whole Cable thing, like that was the first time in X-Men canon. That they acknowledge his parentage, which was actually mm -hmm. a pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, X Men cartoon canon. Like we all yeah. knew who he was from the the Apocalypse arc, but he never flat out said who he was right, until yeah. like he was yeah, like, he says it right I'm there. Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I have a mental we, we knew this. Yeah. So that was <laughs> well. See, that um, makes me think though: is he going to try again and get there early? Yeah. Uh, that would that be a bit. Wouldn't that be a hell of a bait and switch? Like next episode I, starts and it's Cable showing up again doing another duel. Cool. I kind of hope they don't like fix things though. Like I would really like as sad as it is. I would really it, no. Like it I to get I the... want them to fix things because Gambit actually was one of the best goddamn characters of the show. I <laughs> agree. I love Gambit. I love Gambit so much. But he I would also his like worth so hard in this episode. I would respect the show so much though if they were like, yeah, these are real consequences. You have to. They have to deal with it. They have to grieve over this. So you wanted to go to the full apocalypse? You know, Wolverine loses his left hand and the whole. <laughs> We're gonna yeah, you want to go that full, far into full it. board with uh let's just yeah. rip everyone's hearts out of their assholes and make them all <laughs> also they also made a point in the damn intro to go here's a shot of cable versus apocalypse. Yep, I saw that. That when that when that happened, I'm like, oh no, here we go. I'd love but, to see Josh Bowen fight Oscar Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm wondering how apocalypse is gonna fit into this new show in the ninety seven. Like I'm curious how that's gonna Work. I mean, he was already in the original show, and that's, and we we already had yeah. that story's resolution. But if they bring him back, I mean, I it feel seems like they like, might. You know, it kind of feels like they're doing like the greatest hits of the X Men TV show, but also like let's mature them up a little bit. Like, yeah, let's make Mister Sinister legitimately. Yeah, because in the character. if the nineties show would have got another season back then, they would have not have done what they're doing now. No, no, yeah. it's too dark. Like shit, <laughs> it's too dark. It is. It's too. No, it is. And, uh, and it's because the majority of the audience is, is growing up. So yeah. they. But at the same time, this. like the show, it's so weird because, it, on one hand, yes, it's a much darker show, it's much more insane across the board. But at the same time, they're also doing stuff that's like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I kind of wonder who the target audience is for the show because the people who are watching the show understand the references. Mm -hmm. But then they also do the, the character building stuff where they have to over explain. Who this character is, and I'm like, but because there's people watch this show who've never seen the '90s show, yeah. right? Which is why I'm like, so who's the show for? Because this is a continuation of the old show, and 90 percent of the trying content, to get, they're yeah. hoping that you watch season one and then you want to go both. back to yeah. the, the original. Which some people yeah. like if the spiking of viewership on the original has jumped like so high because when the, yeah. when the show started coming out, so it's working. Right? They got LeBron, dude. It's also like <laughs> yeah, LeBron when, tweeted. He's LeBron like, tweeted yeah, the funny. wrong title, which is fucking hilarious. What did he say? <laughs> he's like, I need like X Men like eighty seven or something yeah. like to come out. <laughs> yeah. I need the next episodes now. <laughs> I was like, oh LeBron, you silly oh, LeBron. Geeks. People, he's definitely you. in the locker room just drinking wine after a game. He's like, oh, I need X Men. <laughs> <laughs> it's also also thing, correct though. me if I'm wrong because I mean I grew up in the nineties, but I don't remember this. Uh, in the last episode, not episode five, but episode four, when Jubilee called that dude Hot Topic. Was Hot Topic a thing in the 90s? I thought that was early 2000s. Burn Hot Topic. It was, it was, hot it was, topic. It was late 90s, early 2000s. Like, I'm, it I was founded in 89. Like, hot Topic was founded in 89. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. But wow, what a topical reference. Or cool, uh, <laughs> I forgot that was the wrong word. I'm, I'm, it just seems like, I mean, even in the 90s, like that's not the shit we would reference. Like, yeah. Growing up in the 90s, we had a very limited referencing ability to things that were mostly the 80s. And like I don't see like I don't know. It's like when people say, "Oh, that's that that whole look is from the '80s." It was actually from '89, '90. Like that wasn't the '80s. That was the end of the '80s. So it's one of those like 
people look at these things and they kind of like mix which generation is actually the one they're referencing. Yeah. Fair point. Oh, well, it's like uh, we, well, we had Suncoast. I loved Suncoast. That was my and that my shit home. went away after the, well, early 2000, and I was, I was pissed off. That was my oh my um, god. I place. need an X Men pillow. Oh, no. Yeah. I need a beast body pillow. <laughs> you know they would sell the crap out of those if someone made those. Oh, I'd snuggle up a beast every night. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> you would want Rogue? Some Nicholas Holt. You would want Rogue? <laughs> oh, Shit, Rogue, I'll take yeah. I'll take Rogue. And a so you want, not bad. I'll, I'll just get you. I'll just get you a Kelsey Graham pillow and just paint. Nice. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> Actually, no. Nah, I think I'd rather have a Josh Brolin. Yeah, give me cable. <laughs> I want to. I want to caress Josh Brolin every night before I go to bed. <laughs> Just stroke him on his head, and so he knows it's okay. It's our time. Now. <laughs> yeah. Steal him away from Ryan Reynolds. Oh, poor Ryan. You, Hughes next. I just got to work my way up to that. Yeah, because you really have to build up to Hugh Jackman. That makes mm-hmm. sense. I haven't earned that yet, but it's coming. He's I, like the I platinum just, trophy. I just love so much that they were able to pull off Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, oh like finally? Are. Yeah. I'm so aroused. I can't wait. Every time I go to the theater, I walk past the poster. I'm just like, uh. Uh. Just a little audible moan. That I go, uh. That's crazy. What, how what was that, guys? That was crazy. Is that why you gave away your popcorn before you went into the theater? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I keep the Duno C on deck. <laughs> what, what were you saying, Darren? <laughs> Uh, After that, I remember extra I remember. butter. Hold the popcorn. Oh no! Just like how, <laughs> just how close it is now. Like it's, yeah, it's like, almost here. Yeah, it's almost yeah. here. Yeah, like I, I still don't like fully think it's a thing yet. It's like oh yeah, March didn't even day. happen. That was a fucking lie. I can't. It's April now, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. March yeah, didn't even exist, dude. April. Can can we also just talk about how amazing? We are with this shit, like yeah, yeah this yeah. That, that, I like how that's, that's coming out of CinemaCon. Do you think they would come out with a trailer? You know, first like, you would think. Like, goodness, that is yeah. It's not <laughs> one, <Perfect>. but two. <laughs> like, <laughs> there you go. That's the right reaction. Do you think they're gonna drop a trailer? They don't need to. I think the internet uh, hype is already enough I, to get people going. I don't there. need I another trailer. Feel like they they're definitely gonna drop a trailer where they sh- show Hugh Jackman for like five seconds. Yeah. All they have to do is just drop a trailer of him walking in a room saying. Yeah, and then that's it. Just yeah, and then I'd have like, to stop edging and just be time, you know. I would love a trailer where it's just them being like, "You want new footage, huh? Well, screw you. You're not getting anything else." And that's yeah, just a yeah. trailer. Yeah, just yeah. Sure. Kind of what, that's kind of what Ryan Reynolds does anyway. Yeah, you just yeah. Like, be him, just like smacking his ass for like two minutes. I'd be fine with that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's like a picture of Hugh Jackman on his ass or something. <laughs> One of my favorite bits, and I cannot wait to see it in the actual film, was there was the behind the scene footage of them working together for the first time in the movie mm-hmm. and it's got um he's like piggyback and jumps on his back and he's like stabbing at him and he's like no <laughs> and i'm like i cannot wait for this scene like the final version of the scene where he's where ryan reynolds is literally trying to get a piggyback ride from wolverine like, that's it, how- it's hopefully going to be peak cinema hopefully. hopefully 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 you never know with mickey mouse these days well the way i see it either they're going to go very right or very wrong yeah they're going to be the best marvel movie of the decade or the thing that the internet turns on marvel for forever yeah i'm i'm kind of hoping it doesn't turn into just a complete cameo fest yeah like I want there to be an actual story, not just oh look at all these 20th century people and oh. I think they're gonna make fun of that. I, I apparently think, uh, the cameo. Yeah, I'm fine to make fun of it. It's just I don't want it to be like the whole like gimmick of yeah. the movie. The movie itself apparently is sp- most of the movie is spent in the um, where's that place in Loki? TV. TV. Yeah. No, TV, yeah. the um, where the oh, big monster is. Um, the oh, the like end of the world stuff. I should probably world. watch Loki season two. I feel like that's important information. Yeah. Goliath. Like, um, um, where all the the TVA shit that they they trim. Yeah. Went. Where's that world? Oh, the sunken place. Yeah, because that's apparently where most of the movie takes place, and that's where the big 20th century logo is. And the whole joke is that the TVA has been pruning the Fox universe, so all the Fox cameos <laughs> yeah. are in that universe. I mean, that would oh, be kind of funny. That, that that'd be amazing. <laughs> They're just running around like, 
Oh, this is where they ended up. <laughs> that, that would be kind of fun. We all got pruned, and it's Mad Max down here because we're all here. Like, and that's basically <laughs> what it is. Like, you've got Pyro leading a band of cannibals or something. <laughs> so it's like just absolutely ridiculous. That actually um, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense now, actually. Yeah, as long uh, as it's not just like a gimmick and it's actually like well executed, then yeah, that's all I'm nervous populated. about. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, I was really worried that they were going to do like like The Flash and just have this random ass cameo fest at the very end of the movie where you're like, yeah. wow, that was cool, but I was thinking that, that or they're like, oh, well, they weren't happy in Multiverse of Madness. There wasn't enough cameos, so here's just fucking everything we have and just dump a bucket of cameos in the movie. Like, yeah. I mean, but to be fair, you call a movie the Multiverse of Madness yeah, they, with yeah. two worlds, you got you kind of fucked up there. Yeah, they did. I love Sam Raimi, but I'm not going to, you know. No, I, I like mis- that. Mis- mis- marketing, But at the same time when you put patrick stewart in the trailer and he's like really the only massive cameo it's like yeah Yeah. we got john krasinski as mr fantastic yeah but i mean it's black bolt from that show everyone loved (laughs) yeah so he gets his fucking brain blown up inside his skull (laughs) i think the idea like a concept of like doing in humans is a show but the execution was horrible like i don't know yeah. I, oh, the void. There you go. Yeah, the void. That's where the Look most of the music plays. Great yeah. Kid Cudi song. Apparently, we all just really suck at naming the symbols. <laughs> I, really. I was thinking oh, it was that, some a much cooler place, name than that. That place where they're all like, it's like a void. Like, what's it called? <laughs> a void. It's like a void. He's been off council for a bit, but he's back on. Casinema, what's up, man? Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Howdy, poody. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Deadpool three. Oh, yeah, yeah. and yeah. X ninety seven. Yeah, X Men ninety seven too. Yeah, yeah. I assume you guys have seen the promo art of the cowl. Oh yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just did. I was in the theater, so I didn't. I haven't been on Twitter today. Mm. Oh, but what did you go see tonight? Oh, I had an absolute religious. I can't even speak. A religious experience. Oh my god. You say? I saw the Dark Knight um, for the first time. For the first time in theaters. Oh wow! <laughs> in theaters. Yeah, I've seen it like a hundred times. It's the first time in theaters. <laughs> I just had to wait like sixteen years to see it in theaters. Was it but... uh, was it full or was there like a lot of people? Oh yeah, it was full. Cool. I, I w- it was kind of awkward because I was like, the only one like kind of like laughing. That was like, a fake fan. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I was actually a real fan that time. I was oh. like patting myself on the back. I was like, oh. Hey. I was laughing at all the funnies and maybe the not so funnies, like Keith Ledger just murdering people. I was laughing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, him fucking look at me. And I'm like, <laughs> look at me. Where's I love, the I love how yeah, they got so good. like how that whole scene happened. Was this Chris Nolan was like, we need to do this interrogation scene, and he's like, give me a camcorder, I'll do it. And he just like he made that scene by himself and then yeah, gave it to them. And they're so like, they're like, oh my good. god, okay. It's so good, man. Oh my god. Like Oh my god. Oh my god. I was fucking busting everywhere. I mean, but like <laughs> it's just like he, like Christopher Nolan just knows how to make a movie for a fucking theater, man. It's oh, crazy. Just let that pass right there. Like just what he said, just like Oh, okay, this yeah. is normal for me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah, I I was just sitting there like in all like like I was watching it for the first time again. I was like this is crazy. So this I was, I was in the fuels. In theaters, yeah. My parents were like dickheads and like, oh no, you're gonna get nightmares of the Joker, so no. I was like, Oh, okay, that's fine. Batman's just like my favorite thing ever. That's kinda valid though. I would have grown up to be what? Clown. A clown? I'm already a clown, so fucking mission failed. (laughs) No, you should have had more like fucking like, you know, face paint and shit. Oh, I'd be like Joaquin Phoenix, okay. Darren is scared of his arch rival, uh, Johnny. That's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, I I'm secretly heading over to his house to beat him up. So, oh, oh. you don't want him to know where you are. <laughs> yeah, good thing. I mean, good thing you got no on him. He's in his house. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the outside of Johnny's house. It's just, it's exactly what you'd expect Locks from. Uh... <laughs> if he pops up on the ring cameras, I'll send it on on Twitter so we can just <laughs> get some get some live footage. No, what is happening? Yeah, I'm sure Ring will use that in an ad. Just standing there, there goes menacing. Johnny's door. Not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pretty much. Oh, you. He's like knocking on the door. No fucking ZD. <laughs> no, there's no fucking ZD right now. Unfortunately, I got ravioli in the fridge. Darren has everything in his closet, so this probably is true. Yeah, honestly, he's yeah. probably in my closet right now. 
That's why he's. That's why the ca- camera's off because like I don't want him to know. Like, yeah, it's, like it's also thing, pitch like, black in my closet, so he's probably in there right now. I also have another closet he can be in there too. Oh no, I'm oh, scared now. I have options. Yeah, fuck. Which one is it? <laughs> I have options. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here, or am I over here? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna, if I'm just doing this, I'm 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 scouting the area. I might break my neck and die, but you know that'll be content, I guess. You see, you see Johnny get up. He grabs like a golf club or something, going to the door. Like I hear something in there. Yeah, just fucking. And then you hear Darren. <laughs> do I still have it over here? <laughs> no. Oh wait, <gasps> I do. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> I got my blick. I got the blick ready. It's okay. We're for fun, boys. <laughs> It'd be funny he says five lasers come out and shit like the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always protect the closet, boy. Protect them Funko I'm over. <laughs> protect them Funko Pops, boy. Oh yeah. Every time I think of some, like the closet stuff, I think of um Major Pain, one of the best movies ever made. I gotta watch that. Um just with the whole there's a monster in my closet. It just pulls out a 1911 just starts unloading on the closet. He's like, he's in there. He's not happy. He ain't happy no more. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> like the first time I saw it, I'm like, I really hope one of the other guys is not in there. <laughs> like, I really hope they're not just trying to mess with the kid. <laughs> Who's the dummy now? <laughs> yeah, I gotta like, watch that movie. I love Damon Wayans. Homie, don't play that. Oh my god, I <laughs> love the hat. <laughs> it's, the, it's the caution cone. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. That's the subliminal towards me. He's telling me to be cautious. Ooh. <laughs> Can't hurt me now. He could, though. It could hurt you. Be careful. It could. <laughs> oh. People are like, yeah, people are reacting to Fallout right now. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah, that's right. It premiered like, yeah, it comes out tomorrow. Hour. Yeah, well, tonight. It's coming out tonight. Oh, yeah. I did see it in oh, the trailer yeah. for it in the theater. Uh, it looks good. Yeah. I'm legitimately happy that it's getting the praise that it's getting. I mean, good, good on you, Nolan, for pulling that one off. Yeah. Good I don't job. think enough people realize that Jonathan Nolan made made the show. Yeah, yeah. I honestly didn't until I saw the trailer. And how much of a giant nerd he is! Like, yeah. <laughs> apparently, he got in trouble when they were writing like The Dark Knight or Dark Knight Rises because he kept playing Fallout too much instead of writing the script for the movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I guess you. I can see Christopher like Jonathan. What do you do? Get over here! But <laughs> fuck? fucking work, you bastard! Is that where the plot involved a nuke? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You have to study physics with me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> we gotta, we got to win best picture with the Oscar. <laughs> or, fucking or Interstellar. It, it turns into old man, which I'm like, God damn it. The fuck you doing? We're fucking we're supposed to be God over damn here. it, Jonathan. We're going to make this movie Matthew uh, McConaughey, I, you I, lazy I gotta get, bastard. I got to get, 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 get Josh Peck to fucking hit the button with the floor. <laughs> oh, you sound like Sean Connery. Uh-huh. Same thing. So that's it. <laughs> it seems yeah, like your voice, so your voices are right. slowly going into the Bane mode. Yeah. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't yeah. matter who we are. <laughs> what matters is our plan. I'm here to fulfill Raza Ghoul's destiny. I love that. The way you rise up and yeah. <laughs> the League of Shadows. No one gives a crap about your love, best, Mr. I love Bane. how he got like, so loud. He's like, it's yours. Like, it's yours. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing that in theaters in a couple weeks too. I'm fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Can't wait for that. I'm. I'm gonna need like two Dunosies for that one. Two. Just one. Of Bro, every time, every time What's Tom Hardy's shirtless and be like, Ugh. no. What you need to do is sit in the follow sit him. In, sit in the theater with a uh, mask on and do the voice every time he comes. Yeah, on I'm just screen. gonna be a dickhead and say every. <laughs> <laughs> he bane line in the entire movie. movie. It doesn't matter. That's a lovely, lovely voice. <laughs> it would be painful for you. He's been off council. The for a bit. identity <laughs> is a mystery. He's, he's only been on council one other time, and he's here. What's up, Nick? What's up, man? How are we doing, guys? Hey, hey. Welcome, to the bane. A, Welcome to the Bane Show. Yeah. I came in at a good time. I yeah. know. I was like, that's not Johnny, stand on ceremony here. There's some solid impression. Let's warm him up. <laughs> yeah, I would literally just walk around my house talking like Bane for a day. My mom would be like, bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you think darkness is your ally? That was, that was all we did after we watched that movie. We on this live stream's reckoning. Everybody was going around the school hitting the Bane voice. 
<laughs> you just have to imagine a fire. We must find one of us in the wreckage, brother. <laughs> Impossible. Keep I her close. Trying, I probably went and saw Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol like four times in IMAX, trying to mm. get a theater, like different theaters, trying to get that first Dark Knight Rises uh, yeah. clip at the beginning. And then I finally got it. And mm -hmm. much like the internet, it was like, what the hell is he saying? This looks so cool, but I'm like, what is he saying? <laughs> yeah, that, I'm, I'm <laughs> curious to see. Like, I'm going to see it in theaters in a few weeks. I want to yeah. see if I can understand anything you say. They, well, we this was, the uh, they, they was cleaned gone. up the audio after oh, this, yeah. uh, like, after that, they debuted that fine. first IMAX scene. They yeah, I remember hearing and, like, that. Re recorded some of the sound mixing because <laughs> yeah, people you, were you like, you can actually <laughs> find the original audio online, and it's so hard to understand. <laughs> And then they fixed it. Like, it's, they like it's kind in. of menacing, but well, I think yeah, Tom had to go back and re-record everything because <laughs> they're like, we can't so fucking crazy. understand you, dude. <laughs> hey, Tom, I honestly yeah, can't dude. remember if I, I honestly can't remember if there was any issues when I first saw it. Well, the well, the movie complete, but like that, like teaser scene that, like I said, in front of that mission. Oh, the, oh, the teaser scene, yeah. not the final movie. Yeah, because the teaser. Oh, okay. you, you what can, scene did they show? It was yeah, just a, the very oh, was there. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can find comparisons oh. on YouTube. But there's a comparison. Mm. Like they play like bits and pieces of like the original and then the <laughs> official release, and you're like, oh my, okay, thank God, because <laughs> his voice was also lower in the mix, and I'm like, how did they? Oh, how it was did, like tenant. <laughs> yeah, how this get past so many like people to get approved for as a, a preview thing, and <laughs> instead of going. It doesn't matter who we are. Like I know it's not the same. Like it's in that scene, but it's like it doesn't matter who we are. Like it's really quiet, and it's, it's like just, more oh. muffled. It's more muffled. You know what it reminds me of? Um, you guys have seen the Harley Quinn series, right? Yeah, the heart. So you remember movie. in the first episode of season two, like the 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 four Batman villains. I think it's uh, Two Face, Mister Freeze, Bane, and Riddler. There, there's that scene where they all freeze her. And then she just hears their voices. It's like you should have been, you should have gotten ahead of the game. And then when it gets to Bane, he goes, like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a step above Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh yeah, like <laughs> I want to, I want to hear his Inception. I loved him in Seven. Like we, I watched oh, yeah. Inception again for the first time in a while recently, and. He's just so great in that. No, oh, don't be afraid to dream a little bigger, <laughs> bigger dollar. <laughs> we can get like some of those lines with the Bane voice. Bro, I wanted, I wanted funny. more Tom Hardy in Inception. He's so fucking good. There's a oh, moment like where he's in the back of the the van. Yeah, and he says a line out of nowhere, and it sounds exactly <laughs> like Bane. So I kept like, hmm. Have you guys I know seen what I'm gonna use you for? Yeah. Have you guys seen the fan trailer someone made a while ago called the Batman Complex? I don't think, yeah, so. I don't think it's, so. It was basically like the the premise of the fan trailer is the crew from Inception goes into Bruce Wayne's mind because <laughs> I guess in that in like this in this reality he's a he's just crazy and it's all in his head. That's pretty funny. It's, it's really it's a really good trailer. I missed Wait, the trials. Justin, Oppenheimer here. Justin. <laughs> oh my god, a scarecrow. <laughs> There's an happen. I don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> have uh, have any of you guys just thinking of Tom Hardy in that movie? Because you're right there. The Bane, he, you know, he was prepping Tom Hardy for Bane when he was oh, doing yeah. Inception. Is there's this movie called uh, Bronson? Oh my god, <laughs> that movie's wild. Nuts. It is totally nuts about you know they they call him it, it wasn't London but it's some you know some London prison. They're like you know the most dangerous inmate we've ever had, <laughs> and you know it's almost this like one it's this one man show almost this bravado and theatrical performance of this guy who's gone crazy but he's also just super jacked because it's tom hardy and he's wrestling people covering himself in oil it's just what ass naked <laughs> it's relentless and nicholas winding refin who did drive and only god forgives uh, he, he directed the movie and so all his yeah. movies there's an air of just like oh shit's gonna get nuts here and yeah, that so movie Christopher is Nolan, insane. Christopher Nolan saw that movie and he was like, "Okay, I can't just make him Bane without you know audiences seeing him first, really. Yeah. But we need to get him something else in between this so that we could just call him Bane a couple mm -hmm. years from now." Uh, hello, Akasan. Hey, hey. Oh What's shit, up, man. I'm gonna have to send. I'm gonna say, oh, maybe he's available. Stay so. calm. Stay fucking calm. I say you. I say you invite Akasan if you want to jump in, man. Hey, 
Darren, I guess you have to go. I guess we can let you go. I gotta hop out of here. <laughs> All right. I will get you one day. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll see you, man. I'll, I'll see you on Tuesday night. That's the way to leave. <laughs> see you, man. Man, who the man, fuck was, was that? Who was that? Still that? haven't fixed the hacking issue. No. Wait, who, I guess I guess I'm not seeing the link, man. So okay, I was gonna present this. Um, I found the I found the scene. I don't know how quiet it's gonna be, but let's let's just <laughs> play it. I hope it's loud enough. Let me make sure the audio. description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's for a it's a <laughs> exactly what you would think to type in. So yeah. shout out to whoever did the SEO. Yeah. For that one. So hopefully, yeah, I I, I th- hope we'll be able to hear it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we repair his relationship with his father and that's exposing his godfather's true nature. We should charge Fisher a lot more than science over this show. Yeah, the first the yeah. first part of yeah, yeah, the first part, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it's the first half. <laughs> Charles Fisher. <laughs> that I'm, I'm jealous. You see, could, uh, John, were you saying that you just saw the Dark Knight? I think I was seeing on Twitter. Yeah, right? you just saw the Dark Knight again, mm-hmm. or for the first time. Maybe. First time in theaters. Regal's oh. Regal's like not getting all the Spider Man movies, which I'd actually oh. rather have this way. They're getting just a bunch of Christopher Nolan movies. So this mm-hmm. week, <laughs> Dark Knight. Thing. I feel like they came out on top on that one. Yeah, I'm so excited. And it's only five dollars. This is an too. absolute win. It's yeah, oh, totally. it's a uh, dark night this week, interstellar next week, mm-hmm. inception, dark night rises, then it's Dunkirk, and then insomnia. I think okay. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty surprised they chose strong. insomnia, but yeah, his yeah. best movie. I love insomnia though. I think it's great. I'm Very underrated. Seen, have you is seen it? Interstellar? It's the least Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan movie. Well, wasn't that one of his first though? Yeah, yeah it was after Memento. It was like his really? first like big, was... bigger budget movie. That's kind of like like all right, you know what? Give him Batman. It's actually yeah. a pretty damn good movie. It's about, it's a great um, movie. Yeah. It's it's the one where Robin Williams is a serial killer, and that's all yeah. you mm-hmm. know going oh. into it. Without Pacino is the. I don't think he was a serial killer. I think he just great. killed the one person, yeah, but he was just trying yeah, to cover it up. Yeah. I was getting those mixed up because I remember saying Memento was on Amazon at one point. I'm like, oh. Memento's great, too. Yes, yeah, so I was having mm-hmm. those two mixed up. I'm like, Memento, is that the one? No, no, it's different. I wish The Prestige was going to theaters, though. I would have loved That's, to see oh, that. Oh, I that. Nolan movie. Because, like, that the only so the only Nolan movies I saw in theaters are Dunkirk and Oppenheimer. So it's, like, my first time seeing all of these in theaters, so I'm okay. fucking pumped because I'm just a big old sweaty not? nerd fanboy for Christopher Nolan. Why is The Prestige not... I'm really upset about that because I fucking love yeah. that movie. The, the I haven't watched that movie in years. Movie. It's like, so good. I, it's could, up there. I, I could argue that the best aspect of that entire movie is that the whole movie, they're telling you that we're going to trick you into believing something not possible. <laughs> and then at the end of the movie, yeah. they make you believe that they did it. And you're like, I'm like, guys, that's the fucking trick. That's <laughs> no limit. Yeah, the, pre- the prestige. Game. It's the prestige. Get it, guys? Curtain, uh, you know, it's the, it's the greatest trick the devil oh. ever played. Yeah. What, what, the so problem is the, the world with, didn't exist. But you have the prestige in another movie that came out at the same time that were very similar. The Illusionist. It wasn't yeah. I know, but it, they screwed them up with each other when they it's came that, out. That the classic Hollywood like, trend. Um, yeah. Where they need two of each movie of whatever the, you know two two volcano movies in one year two Bugs Life movies two asteroid movies yeah right right well, oh, yeah, you, got, you get into the two thousands we had like Dante's or you had like Dante's Peak in the nineties and then mm-hmm. the Sci Fi Channel will try to release something right oh yeah the movie would come out on theaters well, yeah, that they, was like the the Sci Fi Channel in Asylum the and Asylum it's crazy was that, just that, that he pulled it off like a year after Batman Begins. Dude, and, it's he gets, and, gets and he does Inception, Batman. and he does Inception after yeah. the Dark Knight, yeah. and then he does the Dark Knight. Like, bro, he's fucking insane. Thing. This man is absolutely like, insane. Uh, in between these great, amazing comic book, I'm gonna just drop classics. I'm gonna just drop a classic comic the book. Dark yeah, like it's just it's insane, bro. And the thing is, the concept of the prestige is crazy, and then oh, bro. crazy too. It's like it, one of the greatest twists. I've ever seen. Like, I, my jaw was like dropped when I saw the Prestige first. I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> I was like, "I did not." That like that just blew my mind. It was crazy. I Are love we talking, uh, like the legitimate twist where 
Uh, oh yeah, like that. The, I mean, uh, I won't Dale say was anything. A twin, case, and you're like, but, oh, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> how old is the movie now? I mean, come on. I, I feel like the no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. For movie spoilers, is like that's true. We just spoiled X Men that came out today. That's fine. Fuck it. Yeah, I that's what I'm saying. Where is Luke's father? <laughs> yeah. So since Nick's not seen it, no more X Men '97 unless we're just being ah. very generic. Yeah, let's just I'm, spoil I'm, all of Christian like Nolan's movies. Um, like, like, Murph. Okay, you have to catch up, Nick. Just let me know. Well, not even the part where '98 Spider Man shows up. Yeah, we, I thought that was X Men '98. Oh, no, no. Okay, so Docker. Spoiler, I guess for X Men '97. No. Just one thing. I, I'll tell you. I'm like, I'm not so dedicated to the classic that I knew. You know, I, I wasn't an avid watcher of the original okay. series, so I, I love the X Men. But if you spoil, you know, it's not. It's gonna not even my really dad. a spoiler. <laughs> it's like the Easter egg of spoilers that they. The Watcher was in the background of one of the... Yeah. yeah. Uh. Um, so I'm watching this and I see it and I'm like, oh my God, they're full on going to incorporate X-Men 97 into this stuff now. Because now we've got the same Watcher from the MCU hmm. creeping into the X-Men 97. Hmm. And well, now we're going to be like, okay, so what if season three is going to be X-Men merging into everything else or some or something random? Well, didn't they say X-Men, X-Men are going to be in season three? Yeah, I mean, we all we all kind of knew that X Men were going to come up somewhere, but it really feels like X Men '97 is meant to be the MCU prequel to whatever the hell they're doing in Secret Wars. Sure, so, yeah. soft launch. Yeah. yeah, and then you get that, that. In the summer. You know, that'll kind of continue to bridge that gap for people. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, it's going to slowly get people more integrated and in understanding the X Men are coming. Because yeah. on top mm-hmm. of just like. I feel like online reactions. I feel like X Men '97 has been wildly successful with oh, yeah. a wide after, range of demographics. And after like, this week's episode, everybody is fucking talking about this show even more. So, like, holy, because they pulled something off that no one thought they were going to do. Ooh, I'm excited. It's brutal. I'm excited. But they, if well, they had a Game of Thrones episode, is what they did. Halfway through the episode, you're like, oh, this is cool. This is what the fuck. <laughs> Like it immediately, like it hits you like a ton of bricks, and you're like, "Oh my god!" Am yeah, because you have no time to prepare for the shift, and then you're in, you're in it. It's like okay, it's like you know when you go over a roller coaster, and then you just hit, and you're going all over the fucking place. Yeah, you can't get off because you're yeah. fucking stuck. <laughs> That's, the no, I mean, That's the worst feeling. I, I guess. Me. I guess the best <laughs> be explanation honest. is, uh, did you watch Game of Thrones? I did. I did. You read Wedding. Right, oh, yeah. everything's happy, happy, happy. Step, 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 step. Everything's over. That was essentially just, what we got. Was I'm like, just thinking of that Simpsons meme of uh, Homer in the tub and Bart hits him with a chair. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> just over and over and over. That's what it I was. Love, uh, I love this idea of Grace Randolph's watcher. Is that just her uh, in the background somewhere? <laughs> She's like, she, dude, she was having a meltdown after uh, watching Civil War. I got back from my screen the meltdown? other night and. Not, not like a meltdown, but she she did not have a good time with the movie. I can tell you. Oh that. man! I, <laughs> uh, okay, can I? I haven't seen about telling with that movie. So when I went to see Godzilla X Kong for the first time, I've seen it twice. First time I saw it, that trailer for Civil War came on, and the guy sitting next to me is like, "Oh, this is so insulting." I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "What?" And he goes, "He said it's because he's a former Marine." I'm like, "What, what, what does that have to do with this?" It's a movie. Uh, it's a movie. Yes. <laughs> And it's make believe. It, you I mean, know, every time I've been in a theater <laughs> though, and they played a trailer for that movie, some of the reactions, some people were like, well, "That looks great. That looks incredible. It looks really interesting." Yes, it's a movie, but it doesn't feel like it's too far off as far yeah. as the yeah, could be. Because we could go down okay. that road. Yeah, yeah you could just see Jesse Plemons like, standing on the side of the road in some of, red sunglasses with an M4. The, a lot of people in the theater, though, I'm hearing them whisper though. They're like, "Definitely not watching that. Like, that's too close to home. Like, I don't know how they made that because that's gonna divide some people, you know." Well, I'm at, watching it at, tomorrow. Yeah, look at the look at the movie. Uh, we take shit so seriously now that we can't enjoy yeah. things for what they are. Yeah. How will we do it in our country? We can make movies about a bunch of other countries and their politics, but when you yeah. make it about ours, that's uh... shame on you. Yeah, let's just make well, another Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at the look at the movie uh, Idiocracy, for example. Exactly I love that movie. Oh my god, that movie is. I was we're wearing, that we're movie wearing fucking Crocs now. That was made for that movie. <laughs> Does everyone know that story? Because it's one of the best stories of yeah. yeah. Production at the time, story. they couldn't get any product placement, yeah. and this random company, Crocs, like, hey, we'll we'll get our shit, and now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, they were yeah. like, we want the dumbest fucking shoe to be the peak, the shoe of the future. <laughs> And then they saw yeah. it, and they're like, this is perfect. And they're like, we'll donate 10,000 pairs. And they're like, hell yeah. 
everyone's wearing Crocs. <laughs> and now, like 15, 20 years later, everyone's now, wearing everyone's Crocs. Everyone's wearing Crocs. Hell yeah, brother. I got three pairs. <laughs> I can happily say I've never worn fucking Crocs and never will. Uh, uh, I, I once said those things too, and I'm a proud owner of like three different pairs of Crocs. Well, you, you also are a degenerate, so. I, I am a degenerate. Yeah, that's uh, true. I could go sit I'm, in my corner if you the, want. I was, no, it's I was, okay. Yeah, I was okay. gifted one pair. <laughs> The uh, the interesting thing about like one of her comments though that she made and and it's something I've seen people say just uh, in general in response to this movie people didn't like it I think it does hit too close for home for some people but there's this idea that the film doesn't pick a side you know it doesn't show you hey That's we're going to be we're going to be yeah. exploring left and right wing politics it's like we're this is 15 months into states seceding something screwed up happened in the government and the people are opposing the government now, you know, and to feel like, I, I feel like you would get bogged down trying to explain like, Oh, well, the reason Texas and California teamed up, even though they're opposing people, or you would assume that they are because Texas yeah. red, California blue, you know, it, it, she'd made a comment afterwards. Like, Oh, it's horrible to have a liberal person killing an unarmed person in the movie. That's just adding fuel for the fire. And it's just a horrible image and it's not going to make things better in the world and and i like i don't know i read it and i was just kind of like i don't i wouldn't want a movie where it's like all right only these people are the bad guys yeah. and these people are the good guys i mean if you're gonna play it life. so safe then like what's the point of even making the movie also, <laughs> also, like, if you're gonna make a movie called civil war there has to be a civil war in it. Like, i don't right, know what yeah. you want i mean like, right. also to be fair it's it's a fucking movie it's a it's movie a too it's yeah, just like, a yeah. Honestly, I'm not that interested in it. Honestly, the most interesting thing, looking thing in it, is President Ron Swanson. Yeah, yeah that that is pretty funny. Um, it just you know, I, he's not my president. Unfortunately, he's not in the movie <laughs> too long. Um, well, the, the it was president. Movie, yeah, the director made this movie to kind of like make it controversial. I think yeah. that was the point. Mm -hmm. I so mean, I'm, you so I'm don't the, make an A24 Civil War movie and not, you know, crack a few well, eggs. I mean, That's kind of the point. And yeah, it's Alex fucking like, Garland. Like, what do you like? Every A24 does not movie, <laughs> she doesn't give point, a fuck. <laughs> right? I mean, they make the point to like get people talking, and they, that's the whole point yeah. of being. Yeah. I mean, name one of the movies that they've made that hasn't been like online controversy surrounding it. Like, that's just yeah. what they do. That's their thing. But you don't make a movie about something like like this unless you want people to have a legitimate conversation of yeah this is gonna fucking suck if it actually happens it's, it's yeah. kind of like a it's it's almost like it's a psa this? about how bad of an idea this could go like yeah if yeah. we get the way, caught up in petty differences of it's only one side or the other we're or, fucked. <laughs> that's how that's how it's been for years and i feel like that's yeah. the point like we could get here if we keep going down this yeah. path of shit, if we don't quit our shit, this is this is tomorrow. If we don't knock it the fuck off, guys. Yeah. I mean, if the movie's not upsetting and disturbing, then what's the it failed. Right? It failed. <laughs> then it failed. Like, if it's just yeah. like, oh, well, I you know, it was all right, it was fine. Kind of mid, like I don't know. Like if it doesn't yeah. evoke a reaction, then it's like, what's the point of making a civil war movie? Yeah, yeah I'm just thinking, thinking, if I I'm just thinking of a, like sorry. movie of the year potentially. Movie I mean, they're putting that in all the trailers and stuff. I mean, people are loving it. And then yeah. also too, from like another angle, is like it's A24's like first like kind of like big budget movie. Mm -hmm. If it's their first like big budget movie, why would they not start off with a bang with something that's going to get people talking and make feels... people want to see it? They want people to go make. They want to go make money. Well, yeah. how much of a big budget? Because it still feels kind of small. Oh I well, like I mean, 50, big budget for A24. I think it was, I think <laughs> yeah. it was like right around. 50 it's not a. It's not a five hundred trillion dollar. Uh, you it know, should be though. MCU movie. It's just yeah. you know. I think I read somewhere million. like 50 million. Just yeah, I was going to say it's probably around that, which is like for, I feel like most A24 movies are like a couple million dollar it's, budget. You know, probably if all that. pretty much shot on location too, uh, yeah. which definitely helps. Uh, yeah, and regarding like the controversy, I'm just thinking of a quote from uh, Ted Lasso. The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people can't handle well, the truth. Well, here's we know a, that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, movies like this were commonplace in the 90s. Yeah. yeah. Right. Look at... Look at Demolition Man, for example. Mm -hmm. Now you look at it and like, holy shit, are we really getting that close? Are we going to get, get tickets? Are we going to get, gonna get tickets for shit that we say? You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> dude? So the the craziest thing. So I live in the Seattle area. And oh, like you do. You're down. Four, so about four years ago, um, like right around all the COVID time, there was like for two weeks there was 
this thing in there. Maybe you saw it in the news. Citizens took over this portion of Seattle. Yeah, however many blocks. Block, yeah, it was called Chaz and Chop. And essentially, it's like we're pushing out the police. We're pushing out first responders. We'll be a commune. We're gonna cook for each other. We'll take care of each other. We've got mental health professionals. We've got medical professionals. And it was this idea of like, oh, we can do it on our own. We don't want any of the government involvement. Again, this was after the George Floyd stuff too. So I know there was a lot of distrust and a lot of animosity towards first like responders and movie. police officers. And so <laughs> I, mean, I got, couldn't do I was, I was down there. I, you know, I walked by, I parked down because while you had all of these people who were being positive and spreading all this love and joy and help and whatnot, you had people taking advantage of the situation people who are insidious, people who took advantage of the situation to loot places, to break into businesses. You know, there were multiple yeah. people who had gunshot wounds. Two people died in the end of everything in the two weeks there. And, you know, they took over an entire police station at one point. Jeez. Like That was their city like, hall was the police station. Yeah. And, and you know, it, to people outside of Seattle, I'm sure it was like, how is this happening in, like, the most I'm liberal from, place from, in the world? I'm from Washington, too. I was watching the shit on the news every okay. day. Okay. All I right. I was like, I'm not going into Seattle for a little it, while. This, this is getting watching, weird. Watching the movie, though, you know, and seeing these big cities where you're like, all right, things can erupt in a flash or as well-intended as things are. Once mm. people start clashing with authority, yeah, unfortunate things happen. And, well, you know, so I'm thinking maybe some of the people I saw the movie with, maybe they thought the same thing, because when I was watching it, I was like, oh, I've seen firsthand some of this. And that's why it's like it's not just the, the guys from Idaho or whomever or, you know, you know, we've got some people who they've got the Confederate flags and they've got guns yeah. and whatnot. But I mean, you have both extremes on each side. And I feel like that's the whole point of this movie is like none of that shit matters when at the end of the day, we're all American citizens we're all going to be pretty pissed if our rights and things are infringed upon or the government meddles mm -hmm. with the constitution, which is kind of alluded to in the movie. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we are helping take care of each other. We all know that the government, I'm like, you know, I feel like for years, people know the government, they don't care about us. The politicians, yeah. uh, you know, so much of it is just for show. Nothing ever really changes. And the yeah. people who are affected by it, are the majority of us. And so tapping <laughs> into Science some of that in this film, I think is kind of smart. Mystery Science Theory 3000, I'm the government. I'm the government. I'm the reason nothing works. Yeah. Like, man, but if someone could just build this bridge, we'd be great. But that's the truth. I mean, <laughs> for years, we've known this as a society, right? I mean, um, I mean, one of the best lines in the 1997 masterpiece called Men in Black was right in the beginning of the film where he said a person can be smart, but people can be stupid and dangerous. And yeah. he points it out like all it takes is essentially one bad day. One bad day where shit just goes sideways so hard that you have a civil war in your hands. Because yeah. not not yeah. one person can do it together, but if enough instigation happens, enough animosity happens, everything just crashes. And then people yeah. join in because they're like, if I'm not with it, I'm against it. And it could be kind of dangerous to not be a part of this right now. And that's what would happen for a lot of people. I, I can tell you for a fact. Sorry. I can tell you for a fact who would cause that one bad day. Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan. I mean, with that, with that Stalin mustache. What's up, you know, I, was, I was doing uh, I was like, yeah. I know. I was like, you I like the goddamn it. So uh, a movie I would almost like in watching this too and the experience and like the response I'm seeing it too. I don't know what you guys think of it, but Todd Phillips Joker. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. one that's very serious, looking at mental health, looking at how people are discarded and how society affects people who Trish might people be downtrodden. Trash. And you know, and people are like, oh, it's too violent. It's really effed up what it says about what could happen <clears throat> to people and the violence it condones. And in a way, it I think was a really effective message of just showing, <sighs> oh, that's number one, the whole idea of the Joker, one bad day. Yeah. You know, yes, so that's much what I love happen. about it is that it, it would go down that route. It, it was the fact that even though for me, I sympathize with him up to a point, and that's the thing that people, you know, didn't sure. take away that like, up to a point, I can break away and be like, dude, you crossed the line. Yeah. So, like, I get it, you need help and whatnot, but you crossed the line. And also to be like, we over the past few years, we finally have been like 
putting mental uh, health into the forefront. It's sure, it's always been there and been talked about, but it's never been at the forefront as it is now. Sure, and absolutely. I, I liked that for me, even I love the movie, but I've only seen it once. It, it's a it's a weird, it's a, it's a bleak thing to, to experience. I remember it was the, one of the last few things I saw before COVID. And the theater experience was another thing because we were afraid that somebody was gonna jump as, as a joker and God knows what was gonna do at a movie theater. I'll throw back um, to the Rises there. Uh huh. <laughs> and to, to me, like I'll never forget when the music kicks in and he's about to dance on the stairs. I mean, me and, and, my, and my relative I was with, we were both like, oh boy, here comes the turn. I mean, this is no more going back. And people were cheering and whatnot now. It's a movie experience, but it's also, I could be like, okay, I'm in a movie experience, but I'm like, y'all, we should be cheering. He's going down to hell and yeah. it's only gonna get worse from here and whatnot. And I just, I like the little swings. I don't think Todd Phillips um, comments about what he can say in comedy at that time was warrant all the way. You, you can say whatever you want. That's the, I, I've always said this about the, this country where we're at right now is that we can say whatever you want, but doesn't mean you're free from consequence. Yeah. And I, I feel that A, the movie made a billion dollars yeah, right. Um, That's the only movie ever do it. That the com the composer won the Oscar. Joaquin mm -hmm. won the Oscar, mm -hmm. and it's not for everybody. And that's fine if it's not for everybody. But I, I just love that there was something like this came out, and it it it's also whether people were looking at the genre and the low point. Like you could do this in the genre mm -hmm. if you want examples. Go read stuff from Grant Morrison. Go read yeah. Alan Moore if you want to go down the route, but it's a whole vicinity. It's a whole volume of amount of stuff you can do with, with the genre and these characters. Yeah. I've just been hearing about Grant Morris's run on Animal Man and what he could do with that character. And I'm dying to look at that, but it's just like, that's why I appreciate that movie. It doesn't mean I can revisit it the whole time. Sure. But um, this is someone who, who likes that movie and likes X-Men 97 and is willing to try the new one, even though I don't know where it's going to go, but the, for the teaser, it was worth the price of admission for me. Sure. No, yeah. definitely. Um, it's uh, it yeah. I think the something that DC does so well, though, and I think that, like you'd said, for a while you kind of empathize with him. You see how he becomes a product of his environment. Uh, you see how, unfortunately, some people don't get the help that they might need. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I think that's what DC does so much better than Marvel in terms of some of their villains. And it's why yeah. Batman. And Spider-Man, I would say, have the best rogue galleries in the Flash. I would throw in there too, because you have people who I'm thinking of Mr. Freeze as well. When oh you think God. of a man dedicated to his work, trying to keep his life alive, uh, wife alive, Bro, yeah, part of ice from the yeah, animated yeah, series. Oof. It, oh yeah. So yeah. Um, all due respect to the Batman cartoon, but so, something I wasn't a huge fan of was how mustache twirly they made Mr. Freeze. Yeah, in the Batman 2000 show, not the yeah. movie. Like oh, the okay. I was going to say, because I'm sitting here in my Joker Batman animated series shirt, so if you want to fight, we'll fight, but never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm glad we didn't We're wear fine. the same shirt. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, oh, Heart of Ice. Yeah. I mean, all the respect to the people who made that show. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I, Quincy Brown voicing him, right? Yeah, because I, I reacted to the Batman 2000 show, and Mr. Freeze, he's cool and all. It's just not what we expect from Mr. Freeze. There's not really any depth to him. No, yeah. but he is cool though, and we do get a yeah. white Batman suit because that's the first yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was cool, but like, oh, that sounds cool. That was. It is. It, it's fire. As I say, fire. It's pretty lit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like, you know they just. I think I think they do a really great job of exploring. You know, poison ivy, or just I would say that you know people's response to superheroes in general sometimes could be very dismissive. People who don't give the genre a chance or don't feel like there's anything of merit there completely overlook it. But when you that's, have, yeah, oh, that's freaking that's pretty dope. badass. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, y'all been talking about X Men, but now it's my mm -hmm. turn because I've spoil been. Spoil it! Uh, can't spoil it. I won't spoil it. Yeah, because Nick hasn't just, seen it yet. Because Nick I'll do, is. Uh, I know. No, 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 we're not going to spoil it. No, 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 no. I won't worry, spoil, it. spoil it. No spoil it. Um, there's mutants I cried. in the show. There's mutants in the show. <laughs> I, I, I cried. I cried. I mean, it's this episode. It's what's what's the best thing about it is that there's not that much punching and special effects, and yet you're tensed up. Mm. Your your eyes are glued to the screen. I don't know if anybody's said this already, but like it's the closest feeling I could feel to what my abuela and my my mother would do when watching novellas. I'm like, oh, okay, now I get it. I just don't want to watch those now. I'd rather watch these with these with these fictional characters and whatnot, and how 
everybody's perspective is valid. You may align with others and whatnot. And again, it's a soap opera, but yet they throw in these nuggets about what the X-Men are about. Like uh, to me, one of my favorite lines, and it's so quotable, um, that the UN won't stand for, for the country to, to make a terrorist their leader. I'm like, and yet you let some of your leaders be terrorists. And it's just like, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was the best line of the, best line in the episode. Yes. Oh, that's a solid one. I, 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 I applaud. And I know you mentioned him, but I applaud the writing. Mm -hmm. I applaud the direction, the voice direction. Um, yeah, man, this, I, I slept late. I almost didn't sleep last night. Cause I just kept thinking about the fucking episode. I was just like, well, let's be honest. I think the show would be better if Johnny voiced every character instead of you know what they have. Like Everyone would just be Bane. <laughs> Everybody's Bane. Would be Bane. Bane. Yeah. Oh, Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> you were once our enemy, but now we're <laughs> let's go crap apocalypse's cheeks. Wow. <laughs> Analyze the DNA. It's two mean, genes. You just you just do the you, Bane just shows up in X Men and and that's all it is. Just Bane just. Like interacting with the X, but just makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I'm, here to... <laughs> Mr. Mr. I'm here to fulfill Professor X's destiny. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a way amazing. <laughs> amazing, Johnny. Oh, oh, was man. born in the dark. <laughs> but Chainsaw, I don't know if, you, if anybody yeah. talked about it, but do you think it's a stretch when people say that this episode specifically and what the show's been doing thus far, it's up there with the top best things that the MCU has done? And I just the MCU, some of the best things that the medium of animation and superheroes have been able to do. It's hard to say I, because we're only five episodes in yeah. re re revival, but it is definitely it's definitely making things have a run for its money. Like it's definitely yeah. like proving we're not fucking around. I nah. guess Taylor, you can go. I guess. I guess, but appreciate you being here, man. Really do. Yeah, of course, thanks for uh, being here. But on that, on that same note, if this is what they're doing at the the half point of the show, this is the climax of the story. If they're following that that format, um, I can't wait to see where they go next with it. Because mm -hmm. if well, this is the halfway, they got five more episodes to either make or break. Yeah. Through. Well, supposedly, yeah. Oh, yeah, I but supposedly, uh, Bo or how you pronounce his name, who was the guy, he had re he had said. This is nothing compared to the, the, mm -hmm. the last few episodes of season one. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that means. There's supposed to be an entire yeah. restructuring of the show near the end of it, including just a complete change up of everything that we know X Men. I'll I say mean, this: well. my theory is the credits, the opening intro. It's not just for the eye candy and the joy it brings us it's, back to it's each other. Hinting at shit. It's hinting at shit. There's there's breadcrumbs there that I'm like. Yo, they've been the the the, the stuff from the first three episodes. It was there from the get go, so mm -hmm. there's stuff that's already interjecting into each new intro per episode. So I'm like, don't don't just get happy to hear the music again. I mean, be happy, but I'm like, look Pay into the ball. Because every single uh -huh. intro has something new. You gotta watch it yeah. like the Mission Impossible intro. Yeah, because yeah, they're literally. gonna give you everything, man. Well, as if you, you as if you need the... another excuse not to skip the intro. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's also there's things in the first couple episodes. Like okay, that wasn't there for no reason. There's a yeah, re yeah. but uh, yeah. Ted, thanks for being here, man. Definitely want you back on. Appreciate it. I'll be I'll be back another time. Yes. I'll make it work. Yeah, <laughs> see you, man. man. Appreciate right. it. Right. Bye. Who, Who the fuck, fuck with that? Who is that dude? Um, <laughs> that guy? But without saying too much, obviously, because Nick hasn't seen it, because you know Nick is just spoiling our. You don't don't worry about me. I'm gonna be watching no, Fallout no. tonight. I'm gonna be fine. No, because trust me, you're you, in for a treat with Fallout. Yeah, I'm you stoked. need you need to experience X Men without spoilers. So uh, yeah. I don't want to ruin. Uh, trust me. Have you seen any of it? Or, or you know, I, just, I haven't watched the latest episode, but that's the only. I'm, I'm so caught you've seen, up till have, then. So you've seen so. up to four episodes. So yes. Are you? Are I am. Uh... I'll say this. I am holding a comic book cover that they did a homage in this episode, and I'm like, holy shit, they did this, and I'll send it to Chainsaw later. But I'm like. Flash it. again. Flash it. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, okay, okay. Look, yeah, away, yeah, look, look away, away. Look away. We'll tell you to look. But... No damn to do. Yep. Okay. Uh... Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, you're good, Nick. You're good. Perfect. Like and, uh, yeah, again, are you, are you it's you a... this. Oh my go god! god. It was Batman. Uh, are you a fan? <laughs> are you a fan of '90s uh, music too? Definitely. I, I was gonna say. Definitely. You, even the music feels like '90s. It feels like something from well, like, either was. Madonna. Oh. <laughs> 
It's Ace of Base is what it, is the band. It seems oh. like they're teasing the song The Watcher by Dr. Dre. I'm pretty excited for that. <laughs> Great Oops, fucking song. Well, I know. Uh, was Dazzler in this episode? Yes, he was. Okay, I, I couldn't tell because I'm used to her being blonde. But I was watching. I was watching it, and my dad was in the room. He's like, he's, he's like, was that Dazzler? But, but I, I prefer couldn't. her disco version oh. costume, in my opinion. But I, yeah, I had, I had tickled I, it, and yes, whatever that means, Draven. Yes, it's I, good. I, I think he means fall out as poopy. <laughs> no, yeah, ga- no. gas is good. All right, is as good. a Gen Z representative, I gas is saying. fire. When I see the word gas, I think I know what it means. You know, it's I'm fine. Draven's Gen Z interpreter because I like, am oh, also unfortunately Gen Z. Gassy man, and you're like, okay, I'm I'm sure gas, can say it other ways, but my shirt right. is pretty fucking gas. I'm not gonna with, lie. With the way he says, <laughs> with the amount of s's on gas, how many uh, loaves of bread does that equal to? Uh, Twenty-four, approximately <laughs> seven <laughs> loaves. Twenty-four stacks of bread. Like he just right. But, but if you're playing Fallout, you can just eat them all at once. Yeah, mm-hmm. get all that health back. No, no, we can just see I'm... driving down the fucking store with 24 stacks of bread in his fucking cart. <laughs> you know what's weird? Like... Like to the bakery. It's easier what's... that way. He would own it. Again, again, y'all, like these past month and a half, it's just we, we're spoiled with television. Yeah, We've been man. spoiled with television. I mean, yeah. across the board, you look at Shogun, you look at what Bad Batch is doing, what this show is. One. <laughs> yeah, one S equals six. I think it's our Shogun. Did, uh, did any of y'all oh. watch the Mr. and Mrs. Smith TV show? Oh, I forgot no. about that. I think my parents I, did, but... I, I took a gamble on it one night. I was feeling like I'd watched Shogun. I was watching things. I was like, I want to watch something new. I knew Donald Glover was in it. He writes most of it. My glorious yeah. Totally caught me by surprise by how much I enjoyed it. It is far really? more character-driven than, like, I would say action. Um, and this whole okay. idea of this organization that kind of pairs them together, learning about these spies and what they have to do. It's weirdly like really funny, very engaging, great action. I think it's like maybe eight episodes, I think. But uh, by the end of it, like a whole bunch of different guest stars pop up. Wagner Mora from uh, Narcos and Civil War. Eh, Yeah, Maybe Incognito. (gasps) Like the Invisible Man in Deadpool? Not that it's Brad Pitt, but one of my buddies. (laughs) It was the funniest thing as I'm talking to him about Civil War. And I'm like waxing movie knowledge. I'm like, oh, you know, the lead character, she actually is. Married to the menacing guy with the red glasses. Yeah. And he's like, wait, that's not Matt Damon. I'm like, that's Jesse Plummets. And he's like, I thought that was Matt Damon. Or he's like, wait, what is he? I forget what the freaking movie was, but he was like, yo, but you know, Matt Damon was in this other movie. I'm like, he was in the Killers of the Flower Moon or whatever. Like, no, that's that's Jesse Plummets. And I pull up the side by side. Oh, that's he's like, funny. Oh, what? They do kind of look Fairly uh, like they could be cousins. Uh, they could be cousins. I guess I can see some. I can see the Bostonian maybe. and Jesse Plemons. I guess I can see it. He's got that. I like them apples. Accents. Yeah, he's got some apples. I could see that. Mm-hmm. Are, you, are you just trying Mary to say Jane married Todd from, from Breaking Bad? I think so. That's what I'm like. That's, that's kind of what I'm into. <laughs> uh, did you? Oh my god! I don't know if y'all watch the Gentleman TV show. Which no, I also no, I'm not, really I'm not fun. Saying that. I, I need to movie. watch it, but yeah. I'm like I love the movie so much. I'm kind of sad that it's like separate, but I still have it, to watch it. I like the movie a lot too, and I think like they they've done a, a pretty good job. It's super entertaining, very quickly paced, very funny, but also has those bursts of Guy Ritchie action and violence where you're like, oh my god, like wow. <laughs> um, and I'm stoked. He's got a new movie coming out. Next yeah, weekend, I'm excited for that. The, the yeah. Ministry of Ungentlemanly yeah. Warfare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that was really good. That looks so, dope. again. It's it's another thing I have an issue. Like, I mean, it's a glorious time for television, but a lot of stuff is dropping either around the same time or it's the same much. hour. Like X Men, um, what's coming Bad out? Batch. I mean, oh, that, well, oh fucking no, brother! <laughs> <laughs> movie season. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, yeah, there's no shows. Uh, on the House of Dragon, I think. All right. Yeah, season two. Uh, is somewhere, okay, yeah. cool. Cool. Penguin episode, maybe in the fall. Is episode God, twelve of so. Bad Batch the last episode? Um, let me see. Hold on. I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not because it kind of they kind of left it in a little bit of a cliffhanger. No, there's at least. Let me see. I have the list. I think sixteen. Okay. Because I know I know episode eight was 15. the halfway point. There we go. Fifteen. Yeah. Go cool, cool. Uh, I had to catch I'm, up on that. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm caught up now. I watched episode 12 today, and uh, I was like, this can't be the end of it, because that, that, <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's right now what's unique with, with Star Wars, and this is what's weird right now, is that the next two things we're going to get, it's more from the dark side or evil yeah. side perspective. Tells you guys, Tales of the Empire? Or t- or t- Empire, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah Tales of the Empire. So and then, good. Yeah, man. What, and I like to the me, logo just, reveal. Tell yeah. yeah. that it burns so away. So yeah. good. What did, I, I saw two, it I was saw two Jedis Gassy, in a photo even. that they released from either one of the new shows or something. Um, oh, acolyte, live acolyte. acolyte. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just the photo itself. There, I don't like. This is the weird side of. I don't expect TV shows to shoot on film or to use certain filters, but there's something to the clarity that some of these cameras or whatever Disney's doing, mm-hmm. some of their live action shows. And I see this complaint or comment I think from a lot of people with live action stuff. Sometimes it's like this feels like it's a commercial. Or the way that it's lit, the way that it's shot sometimes. And again, I know it's just a still, so I'm not going to assume that that's what the whole show looks like. There were moments in Mandalorian season three when they had the Jack Black and Lizzo stuff where I'm like, (laughs) where where did they film this? I'm like, this just doesn't even look like they're on the same set world or anything. The volume at different times. (laughs) Here's what I think. Here's what I've been thinking. Is it that cosplay has gotten so damn good these days that yes. it's starting to look a lot like what you're seeing on the movie kind of, or yeah. TV? That's that's a really good thought, actually. I had I hadn't thought of that, but you're I'm, every time they do a Comic Con and I see some of the Star Wars people, it's like I don't know how much money you spent on that, but like, yeah. oh my god, get them in the movie. That's like you walked off set. Like we, there's we, a reason we, why Filoni called the Bible first for season one when they needed yeah. background characters oh, yeah. for the Stormtroopers. That's cool. Like, that's how that's good they're getting cool. nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, and that's and, then, and it's it, they're blending now. You can't really tell like uh, that's uh, yeah. What's best car and what's not? You know. Yeah. They even hired the dude who did the deep fake of the ending of Mandalorian season two <laughs> better than the original show yeah. and brought him back. <laughs> I love busy. That or brought him on to Lucasfilm. <laughs> I sent you a link, busy. If you want to jump in, man. Yes, Pedro. <laughs> oh man. I mean, if if you if you're not busy enough to join, busy. Hey, uh, if he wants to talk, talk about Napoleon Dynamite, I'm all for it. Oh man, always. Tater talk, man. Speaking of, uh, that's that's shows, America right there. That's thoughts. America, Napoleon Dynamite. Speaking of <laughs> recent shows, this is a show I think more people need to take a look at. I just got the Blu-ray for it, Common Rider Geats. Oh, I never heard of it. No, yeah, it's a Japanese yeah. show. Um, uh, you, have you guys heard of Com- Common Rider? I've heard of Common Rider. Yeah, um, basically every incarnation is a different, sh- uh, di- completely different show. The basic idea of this one is there's this competition called the Desire Grand Prix, where you enter it, you become a rider, and you fight these monsters. And if you win, you can have the world reshaped however you want. So it sounds like my life. Gotcha. All right. Cool. <laughs> here's, here's a question for, for you guys when it comes to uh, like, just speaking to what you were talking about, how like every incarnation's new setup, new story, characters, mm-hmm. or whatever. Like growing up playing Pokemon, playing Yu Gi Oh, the card games, oh, watching yeah. the shows, yeah, playing the actual. You know, I, I played more of the Pokemon video games than Yu Gi Oh ones that they made. But uh, I don't know. There were so many times where I felt like I would skip certain seasons. If I just wasn't like, you know, in, in my head, it's selfish to assume that, you know, we'll get a billion episodes with Ash or we'll have Yu-Gi for every episode. I'm like, you know, by the time we're introducing like Yu-Gi-Oh on bikes and all these new people and things, it just I I get the idea of trying to push forward sometimes. But sometimes oh, yeah. oh, like, you, had, you had gold. Thing, yeah. With, yeah. Uh, you yeah. Had gold with some of those original crews or like, you know, following may and some of them and like the the gen 3 pokemon tv shows in the hoenn region like there were some that were really solid and then some where it just felt like i would rather go back to characters we know in this world i like, think the issue was like pokemon was like it's cardinal life but in the games and show they're monsters they're, there's animals mm-hmm. and then in Yu-Gi-Oh, oh they're just cards like they come right. to life in the show but in the game it's just you're you're just getting cards yeah, well, then, it, it's uh, well, it, it never caught on, unfortunately. I think for some people, because I guess well, they, they wanted it to be like Pokemon, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, because you had uh, you had Digimon too. Back Digimon, yeah. Digimon oh, yeah. digital monsters. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Dude, Pokemon. <laughs> like I remember seeing. <laughs> I remember seeing the Digimon movie because I remember I'm pretty sure they play All Star. They already movie. have. And you got all the the Digi monsters dancing around, but uh, but I don't think anything will beat as far as like card game or some of these. Like I remember I've, I saw a decent amount of the Pokemon movies that they put in theaters in theaters when I was younger. But the Yu Gi Oh, the Yu Gi Oh movie that they did with like the I don't remember who he's fighting Anubis or something. But you got like the crazy Sphinx beast out there, and you know he's got to beat Kaiba, and eventually gets Kaiba. all the Egyptian gods. Dude, watching that in theaters and like going back and watching it recently, whoever the voice actor was for Yugi is just like on another level. The voice acting on that show was incredible, but just uh, there aren't moments like that in <laughs> like some of the modern, at least the modern incarnations of what they're doing with those properties. But just uh, yeah. In the hey, same we need, way that we it's... need, we need no, some no, more no. Draven uh, interpretations here. <laughs> but yeah, sh- sh- whatever that means. She- but the Avatar skins are too damn expensive. So if they were Avatar yeah. like the way of water skins, I would. What no, is, what is the I'd show? On that. I, I would. No, I know. I know. I I'd, oh. I'd, I'd get some blue people for it. Yeah, they're, they're just too so. expensive. I'd take neither. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you see me that, I, heard, I got that Nicki Minaj it, it, skin for Kyle. Like, yeah, uh, I got yeah. my Travis Scott skin in Fortnite. I'm cool. Yeah, but you know what's funny about Fortnite? What? Um, you remember in Avengers Endgame, there's that scene, the scene where Rocket and uh, yeah, yeah. Cole 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 and their and Cork playing Fortnite. Yeah, I remember the time, thinking, there is no way that game is still going to be a huge thing in 2023. Boy, was I wrong about that. Indeed. Who would have thought I'd Fortnite, get into Fortnite man. in 2024? Who would have thought? <laughs> well, you that, missed the golden age. Well, I can tell you right now. If I wasn't on council tonight, we weren't doing the show, I'd be playing Fortnite. He'd be on Fortnite right now. Okay. So I'll be uh, I'm dead ass on Fortnite. <laughs> but I, I don't I but I'm not like obsessed to the point where I'm I'm like going crazy buying shit because I would buy those avatar skins, but they're too expensive. Like I'm not spending sixty plus bucks for three skins. I'm not doing yeah. it. Well one thing yeah. we, today it's I not saw... even a physical thing, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What'd you say, Johnny? Something leaked <laughs> or at least I think it's a All leak. Right. Well, uh man. they're doing they have battle passes and then they have like these separate like mini yeah, battle passes avatar, they do. Aang they're avatar, doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's fine because you should get other cosmetics. And I want the Ang skins, but I'm not. And I spending... think it's only those are have only like ten. I me- think. Yeah. Have you guys seen that meme of like it was right after they announced that was happening of like Ang with a gun? He goes, "Look, Katara, I'm metal bending." I did see that actually. I found yeah. that amusing. <laughs> yeah. So Ang with the blicky. Like I'm fine with spending like a little bit of V bucks for that. But I'm not going to spend 2,000 V-Bucks per for Katara. Bro, just steal your mom's credit card, the fuck? I know you're new to Fortnite, but come on, bro. It's the way it works. It's, it's, I want to stop it my beautiful, Johnny. I'm going to my wife's credit card, which is actually mine. So, that well, well, see, that's the problem. You just yes. got to go rob your mom. <laughs> you got to go find a credit card from somebody else. Yeah, and then use that. that one. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. I know whose credit card I can steal. I know who's playing. Who's playing hot hell divers too? There you go. Uh, I'll take hot take first. Uh, howdy, 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 howdy. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? How you doing? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> buddy? Buddy? What's um, going on, buddy? Fucking getting my ass handed to me by Odin in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's why. You're, okay, it's like okay. What's going on? <laughs> that's why. It's bro, just one. just be Kratos. Yeah, man. You're bro, not... you no, it doesn't work. Like <laughs> <laughs> doesn't quite work. Like I'm that. a god boy. Boy, <laughs> boy. It... We are the gods we choose to be. <laughs> uh... <laughs> is anybody is anybody playing Helldivers too? Fuck no. Who the fuck is that? Oh, whoa! Wow, dude. Here's the hot take. <laughs> Why? Way I mean, to shit on democracy. Well, I, I was I was <laughs> fighting for democracy, but then I started fighting hey, for yeah. Fortnite dancers. So that kind of yeah, uh, I had to I had to fight for the weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> the weekend. I had to fight for the oh, weekend. The weekend. God, He's yeah. above all. He's above democracy. He's the goat. Because <laughs> some of his songs are in the fucking. I know. bought every single one of his. <laughs> yeah. So I have a problem. The entire collection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hobby, not a problem. Yeah, thanks Nick for stopping by, man. Appreciate you being here. Uh, no, thank you for having me. Good chatting with you guys again. Yep. Enjoy oh, the rest of the yeah, man. 
We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Man, who in the uh, fuck? The fuck? Oh, oh good. Yeah. Now we can talk about X Men ninety seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. Has hot take Phil? See you next one ninety seven. Of course I have. So when Two Face fucking sure. dies, <laughs> <laughs> of course I have. Oh, so it's Phil, the same coin Magneto used. So Phil, Phil, you missed it earlier. Oh. Uh, Johnny was saying that he could just play Bane in the X Men show. He's just gonna just jump into the show as Bane. And I mean, that'd be a whole new thing. I, I I'd watch it. I tell you that. What was the line? I'm I'm here to fulfill Professor. I'm X's. here to fulfill Professor X's destiny. Yeah, yeah not bad. Huh? So not that I need it, but like just Bane do it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. We'll be just friends, mon ami. Fuck you, oh, Charles man. Xavier. <laughs> Suck my cock. Bane's the only one that's like R-rated. Everyone else is still like in the PG realm. Fuck <laughs> off, fuck off, bub. <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, hey, I mean, there was some cursing in the episode. Yeah, this episode they showed a lot of blood. Would they? Yeah, I'm the juggernaut, be... bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so it's weird because X X Men showed the blood, and then the yeah. tales tales of the Empire also showed somebody getting knocked up, and then like has blood like <laughs> on the floor when not. Someone got yeah. knocked up. Yeah, knocked up. up in the ceiling, not physically. No. Oh, I was gonna say, I'd knock up Darth Maul. Maul that's just me. <laughs> I'd have Darth Maul's children, but that's just me. Before or after he got cut in half, let him stick his horns in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. What the fuck is going on? Hey, most I, I don't know. I had too much caffeine today. I think I had to, I had to drink. Council and chill. Day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, can Cops. we switch spots? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't want to be under him. I, I don't know what to tell you. Tough shit. <laughs> Suck it up. You want to hear uh, a story? Stop right. being a pussy. Now, I don't know if this, if this will summon him. I don't think it will. If we end the show at midnight tonight... <sighs> This might be the first episode since episode three that Gore's not been on. I was thinking that. Yeah. Sh- should we try summoning him? I don't think it's going to work. I think he's watching Fallout. I bet that's what he's doing. He's binging Fallout right now. Let me try it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me try. Let me try. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, get, get, yeah. Get the mustache. You gotta call demon pool, demon pool, demon pool, demon pool, demon pool, demon like, pool. Like Beetlejuice, he just summoned him. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, he, he rises up like in the Beetlejuice, too. He rises up and goes. <laughs> Where's the popcorn bucket? <laughs> the Where's gore's the loose. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord. The blob is loose. <laughs> By the power of odd giant. By the power of odd giant. I have to say that like it was nice seeing Banshee and Mora with the accent. Oh, I was yeah. just like, it's well, cool. Well, Banshee. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. Is Banshee gone now? Yeah. What do you think? Well, yeah. I, there's, also, there's also the question about uh, was, uh, you know, the new yeah. Jean, was she? Yeah. Like, oh, Madeline Pryor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did Pardon Bane all. die? Yeah. Bane's dead. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> God well, damn the big it. Is, I guess I'll have to imagine. The fire. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to fuck, fuck, put, fuck, put Bane fuck, is. Put fuck. Bane in as. Uh, damn it. Shut up! Damn fucking shit, cock fuck. Fuck me, fucking running, bro. No, 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 that's fair. That's how I felt after the the episode. I was like, God damn it. Yeah, Yeah. Bo Bo said on Twitter because someone had asked, "Is is is Catelyn is is she dead?" And he's like, "Yes." Like he's just like, "Yeah." I mean, you see it, but you're like, "Is she really?" Yeah. Yeah, she's gone. She oh, fell far. But it could be a fake out because he could just be saying that and then something happens later on that we don't. Yeah. But, well, but folks, remember, nobody ever is really gone. Guys, the show has well, time I mean, travel in it. Come he's on. got to well, go we, find yeah, floating Red Skull and bring him back. Yeah, because Cable, because Cable <laughs> shows up and tries to warn them. And I and there's a lot of talk about that colossal try fucking Sentinel was sent from the future. And that's how Cable knew it was coming. Yeah. Uh, um, Although, why was he telling them to shut off the music? Like, because what was that? no oh. one could hear what was happening until it was too late. Yeah. The, explosion, uh, the explosions okay. were going on while the music was blasting in there. 
Uh, it was fireworks. Yeah, so, you know, so you're if, tell, what you're essentially telling me is Ace of Base got them killed. Yes, <laughs> not the Sentinel. Yeah, but sounds also, like a skill issue to me. But also, yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, the theory is is like, what if they got sent somewhere with the blast instead of being killed? That would be a good mm. reveal. But we, but I don't know because they're implying this is death. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is over. But I, yeah, I think time travel is going to play effect because they show in the intro Cable, and then of course he's there for a couple seconds, See, and then yeah. he's pulled back into his time. If Cable, here's had, the thing. If Cable had Bane's voice, he probably could have got their yeah. attention. We're much stuck one of us in the wreckage, brother. Turn I'll on the now loser. That, <laughs> now that Nick's gone, I'll yeah. say it because I didn't want to spoil for him. But I'm like, my theory was okay. They're showing this much time of, of, of time travel is. Why are they showing us the Phoenix again? Why do they keep showing us that now? I'm like, yeah, how they, far they back are we going to go? Episodes now. They, they, was it episode three? They showed it for the first time, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. And then During yeah, the Madeline Pryor episode, yeah. And the, specifically, yeah, we had... It was Madeline who had the vision. Yes. It's, it's because she's the one who first saw it, unfortunately. Okay, so, um, so that's so why Gene, she specifically Gene finally saw snap it. again. Yeah, well, now there's no more question about Scott technically cheating on gene think yeah. it's the same fucking person everybody was cheating on everybody everybody yeah, because, no, they were fucking <laughs> she kissed logan in this episode and, and it's like <laughs> yeah. but like, salute salute to the to the cowboys salute to, to logan and gambit be like nah i know well, how this is gonna go i love the way wolverine put it because it's so it's meta because he's like you're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. That's the rules. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, you're you're, mm -hmm. but still, it's still. I think it's still gonna be up in the air now. Like, I don't know because he can't technically forget that. Yeah. No. Let's be honest. No. We had that yeah. costume from the '90s where he's looking at a <gasps> photo of her, right? Mm -hmm. And we have the whole thing where he he punches Scott in the stomach. There's a whole thing. And the meme yeah. of uh, Gina and Scott kissing and yeah. far away, Wolverine's just like. Yeah, the, to me, yeah. the shot that killed me was when Rogue and Magneto with the hands in front of uh, Gambit and the Gala, and I was just like, you fuckers are making Yeah, me. and they did that for a reason. And, mm -hmm. and, Bo, and Bo was saying Gambit's death, he didn't know that Rogue actually chose him. Yes, uh, that's what broke my heart. And Bo, I said, yelled at it, it, and Bo said, that's the point. I'm like, God, that is that is brutal. And, and in my reaction, when they're riding in the motorcycle, going to go to the, the, the Sentinel, I was yelling. I'm like, bro, she chose you, but also, she said it too late. If you also notice that final scene, obviously, you're not really paying too much attention to all the details. You're paying to the fact that he's dead. She's holding him. Her bare hands are touching him. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, the first time she's actually touching his body, and he's... Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like it's like the worst time to do this. Yeah, oh. brutal, bro. Like, that's fucked. Brutal. <laughs> it is fucked. Fun. I can't feel. I haven't anything. even seen the show, but I know that's fucked. Dude, it is so fun. <laughs> and they have a whole conversation because literally, Magneto says to Rogue, "I want you to be my queen, ruling Genosha." And she's like, "No." So she goes to Gamut, says all this shit, and Gamut says, "You know, what we have, her thing is more than just." touch because she technically yeah. can't touch him with her some things are deeper than yeah. touch yes these are, yes. and i'm like and that hurts so much more because that's how he feels and then she actually does touch him and she can't feel him anymore because she's not absorbing anything because he's dead yeah and again it's, 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 it's the small yeah. moments where she finally tells him her origin story that uh, comic fans we knew but she never shared it yeah. And then the fact that him, you know, throwing the cards in the fire and him saying, listen, we were never official. And I respected that for yeah. you. I, I, I respected that. And it's it, even Magneto's side, dude. The, to me, the, the thing with Magneto was when he said, don't be afraid in German. And then you hear the cutback to the Auschwitz, the, 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 the concentration camp. Mm -hmm. And when, when he was a kid, and I was just like, this is on Disney Plus. He's a they have that in them. the cartoon <laughs> for a brief yeah. second. Oh my but, god! Well, in, in this, but he has all these visions, and then he literally, I will for all of avenging all of them. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, he doesn't succeed. But that's his point, and there's a reason why he's using a train. By the way, to fight against the Sentinel, because we know what they use to train. To yep, yep. So there's a yeah. Like now that's spoiled for me. I want to watch. This. <laughs> dude, 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 that shit sounds horror. If you watch the fucking scene when all of the shit starts, even if you just watch that not knowing, it's fucking brutal. Even if you don't yeah. know the context yeah. of it, yeah. I do yeah. want to watch it at some point. I'm probably just yeah. gonna watch the original show first once this is done. Just like, oh yeah, this 
this is the first time you've seen Sentinels at this level in an X Men movie. Well, it's Since Days of Future Past. <laughs> well, because in yeah. Episode One, Storm just obliterates them with her with just herself. Yeah. yeah. Omega and level three. And then they literally go, "We're going to show you this." To make you seem like Sentinels are not a threat, because there's another Master Mold and it's whatever yeah. John Ford. No, because there's something in the future. Well, we presume the future. I think it's from the future. That is yeah. so fucking nothing can stop it. Nothing. It only Gambit because of his abilities. If it wasn't for Gambit, I think they, they all would have died. And I look know. how close he got to it. How close he got to it before he pulled his his ace up the sleeve. He was this close from I, the head I, of it. But I like also strike. think he knew he might die in the process. I think yeah. that's why he still did it because he knew he could destroy. It. He had to just get in contact physically with it. Mm. They were pulling a lot of stuff, dude. I, I there was there was a scene with with Logan and Jean that I felt like was harkening back to X Men Two with Jean holding the water and she's oh, holding yeah. the water. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Stuff right now. Oh yeah. There's they, a moment yeah. in the Last Stand where he talks about how Jean uh, using her Phoenix power uh, took away his oh, oxygen so you could see. Yeah. There's a there's a moment where you know when I ran into where my books fell, which is right out of X Men Apocalypse. There's these mm -hmm. moments where they're taking stuff from either from the comics or the books or the, the shows that like referencing it, whether it's it canon or not. Another great moment to me, which I was my mind was bending, was like, okay, the mm -hmm. Sentinel that took out Denosha, is that from Astonishing X Men, which is this big this is Josh Whedon run with John Cassidy, where they face this big Sentinel they've never faced before, and it's brutal to beat it down and it happened i think either in genosha as well so i'm like did they use that from that run and this scene from I, that movie they put oh. a lot of shit yeah. uh, well, it, well then you got uh even when you go back to the comments from the 90s you got the age of apocalypse and all that kind of stuff oh there. yeah mm -hmm. and, and you see you see elements of, of that, that yeah. in there as well oh, fucking you know, it occurred to me today i'm surprised uh genosha never was used in the movies it was it was used in dark phoenix yeah Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I yeah. bet it'll be used. Did in... they even call it Genosha though? Yes, they called it Genosha. Oh yeah, that's where Alias occurred, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not even that's full. No, that's, no, that's, no. that's 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 the wrong point. I was thinking of Genosis. All right, big Star Wars fan. Bo also made the point to say when he pitched the revival, he pitched it with this. Yeah, mm -hmm. this whole thing here. This was going to happen in Episode Five. This was going to happen yeah. in the middle of the season, and also, um. I don't know how to word this exactly without getting into potential YouTube trouble, but you know the horrific incident that happened, I think, in Florida at that nightclub. Yeah, uh, yeah. I went in and just started. It's know, here. He used like Bo used to go to that club. Yeah, and he wrote this whole Genosha like just obliteration based off that because of what how that affected him and what happened there. For a place that people felt like they were safe mm. and everything, and that's exactly what Genosha is, or at yeah. least that's the implication. And he literally shows that this can be like how brutal this is, and how this can be taken away, and how this could really go down a really dark path. And I mean, yeah, dang. that's it's really this, dark shit. You know? This is why I love the X Men. They could be an adventure story, and yet either because underlying in the forefront of the background, there's a message there. That's too. why like, the X Men are allegorical. That's why the X Men were created. Like they are an allegory for a lot of things that were happening at the time and still yeah. today. And that's that's exactly what Bo did. He's bringing it to a modern sense of what's being really talked about now. Because back then it was race, mm -hmm. and now it's more so about people's Humanity. identity and everything yeah. and inclusivity. So now he's like upping it even more. Yeah. Look at look at episode two. I literally like in my, in my video. I, yeah. I literally was just like, oh my gosh, I saw this happening. On my TV in January, not too oh, long yeah. ago. Yeah, and, and like, Magneto's speech to those you and people, and then also in this episode, you had that woman interviewing the X Men too while all this is going on. Like yeah. it really boils down, and and then you have Scott like losing his mind. Well, we have to be careful. I don't know about because <laughs> someone just joined the backstage. Uh, Mike, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Don't want to spoil. Am I seen X Men ninety seven or no? I have not. Okay, but <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> But without getting the spoilers uh, briefly, uh, but yeah, like it was specifically a point for Scott to lose his control. Yeah. But they did all of this. It really was hammering home that this is still relevant in a different context now. Or, or still and I don't blame context. him. Yeah. I don't blame his feelings. Like, it, but it's no. also like, like even when there's a point when they, when they walk up to the, the house, 
And you see uh, Hank in the background going, oh, dear. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, the timing. <laughs> yeah, the, the timing, timing is it's, Yeah, someone, I can't remember who said it, but someone said, like, he was out of line, but he was right. Yeah, true. Yes. And he went off. What's up, Mike? What's up, man? Uh, Nothing too much. Just, just hanging um, out? Yeah, just hanging out, you know. Yeah, people, I, I, a lot of people yeah. are watching Fallout right now, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm probably going to try and watch that before going to sleep but you're you gonna know. try to binge all of it or just watch at least an episode at least an episode yeah well is it, yeah. Is it all out right now or are they doing yeah weekly? they drop all episodes yeah oh, i thought they were doing weekly no only that was the question like why are they dropping all at once because amazon doesn't do that yeah that well they have weird. before yeah, it's been a while well yeah. yeah they've been more consistent with weekly which i think yeah. was helping with like reacher and invincible even though they had the long breaks which is dumb mm-hmm but I think it works. But then uh, you think Fallout with how big of a property that is, you think they would push weekly? Yeah. I would at least try to drop the first two episodes. At least the first, from what I've seen of the first two episodes, it'll been a great oh, yeah. start to the season. A great mm-hmm. two part start. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know. I, I feel like it's a Stranger Things thing again. But even Stranger Things did that one thing where it's like part one and then a few weeks later, part two. And it's just, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's really just whatever. You know. I would have kept it up because it's the water cooler syndrome where like all right each week can go back and talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, I prefer and, the week to week. That's yeah. what helped one division back when it mm-hmm. first dropped. Oh you know? yeah. If it would have dropped mm-hmm. all one division day one, it would yeah, not it, have had it, the same no one, impact it, at it, all. That's what was happening to like the Punisher. Because yeah. like, Punisher season one, it was so good, but then after a week, no one was talking about it no more. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. happens with well, I mean, Stranger Things the conversation goes on a little longer, but like for me, it's like okay, it's like I'm obsessed with it for like a month, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, "All right, can't wait for the next season." <laughs> yeah. Or like, yeah, The Last of Us like was just taking over my entire fucking life when it was just week to week to that week. Like, oh my god, I can't wait for Sunday. That woke <laughs> ass shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm, uh, they yeah, don't want the brown people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. But again, it, it was it was another thing where I remember editing for that series. Mm-hmm. But the pain in the ass. It was worth it, but it was just well, it was two it months of just yeah. oh, dude, two months of trying to drop an hour of episode into a reaction. Mm-hmm. God damn, it's hard to edit down an hour episode. It sucks. That's why I don't do reactions. Yeah. I'm literally <laughs> lazy. I'm literally right now. I have to yeah. like re upload <laughs> my reaction to episode one of Fallout again because it got copyrighted, and I'm like, all right, now I got to go back in and and go to the go to the the tire shop and. Do my thing. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's a thing. Uh, is that your job? You, you work in a tire shop. Is that your thing? No. No. Fuck the metaphor. Damn, Odin. That time was there? perfect. What are you drinking there, Phil? What are you drinking? Mountain Dew, Code Red. All right. Dub. That's okay. probably not healthy, but I really don't give a shit. Who gives point. a shit? Who cares? Yeah, bringing railed by Odin. What was the matter? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can call me Odin, and I'll rail you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you can't tell me that sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Odin, Odin, Odin. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. One woman in Justice League. Children. I work with children. Oh yeah, the Wonder Woman quote. <laughs> children. My man, my man. Yeah, that's the line. I remember. My man, my man. That wasn't my it. Man. That wasn't in Justice League. Yeah, well, it was. Work with, which yeah. cut? I think oh, it was a both. The Whedon cut. It was oh, definitely oh, I think it was both. That, that that's why I don't give a shit about it. Good. good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Whedon cut. That cut fucking sucked. Whedon cut. <laughs> Fuck Joss Whedon. That movie's I, terrible. I, I'm pretty sure it's in the in both cuts. I don't think it is. I, I, I can't remember though. It's I can't not remember. I remember uh, it first blew up in the trailer. The trailer yeah. first blew it up. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. If it's anything that Whedon added, then it's not in uh, the Liner. Zack Snyder cut. Yeah. I don't know if to fulfill Josh Whedon's remember. destiny. Yeah, Bane should have made it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just have Bane. <laughs> Ceremony. Did uh, you guys sh- see that theory that, that, like, the, <laughs> that anger powder from Wonder Woman was going to be a precursor to Bane Venom? Uh, we, don't, I mean, we, don't, we don't talk about Venom. <laughs> no, no. I don't, I don't talk the about venom that. for Bane to use. Yeah, let's talk about Wonder Woman eighty four. <laughs> knock, knock, let the devil in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
Where's that AI cover? <laughs> we can make it. It's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> There are certain things that are god damn it, that's hilarious. Yeah, I give everyone brain disease, but it's okay. Pretty much. Yeah. So what the show has turned into. Brain cancer? Yeah. 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 I'm a walking <laughs> too much. Yeah. My my uh. boss asked, like, um, so oh, so what what is your show? Is it like I have a show, I have a show tonight. Oh show, like oh, it's three hours of Pandemonium. She's like, oh, so we gotta talk about like movies, TV, but it, we, we never know sex. what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, we sex. never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Demon yeah. pool. I, I didn't get into that. <laughs> one, no. We're getting at. I feel like Gore's gonna be here. I feel like Gore's not gonna show up. Yeah. The streak has been broken. It's like the Undertaker streak of WrestleMania. Or Wrestle the streak has been broken. Gore's not gonna be here. Does that mean then I have the longest streak? Uh. Do I get two belts? No, we get bang cancer from you. <laughs> bang yeah. cancer. Yeah. Bang cancer. <laughs> Third belt at it. <laughs> we get bang venom. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Bravo, but you have contracted bang cancer. Do you, do you want to be Cody Rhodes or something? Could be. Like a turd in the, in the wind. In the wind. <laughs> well, actually, fun fact you'll be tied for second place after this episode, Johnny. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, one and all. I hope you've had fun losing IQ points every time I'm on the show. <laughs> it's my honor, my pleasure. Is it though? No, I feel bad about it. No, I don't. I don't die for that. Think about it for five minutes after each show, and he goes, "All right, I gotta take a shit, or I gotta go eat, or whatever." You know. Eh, time to get the sack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that popcorn bucket? <laughs> I'm, I'm still Excuse drunk. Me, I'm I need to go fulfill Razorgo's destiny. Yeah, I'm here to fill up the dude popcorn bucket <laughs> to fulfill its destiny. <laughs> That's my destiny. Did you guys see Rebecca Ferguson's reaction to the popcorn bucket? Oh yeah, Rebecca's oh. like the fuck. Like, they all were like confused by like what is mm-hmm. this? How, how sensual. Denise, Denise was funny because he was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. <laughs> they don't tell me shit. They just do stuff and fucking here. I don't know. Have you guys seen the video? Like, she's in the middle of an interview, but she's like, uh, I'm not sure. Let me text Denny. Yes. Hey, oh, yeah. With Cinema Blend. Yeah. About this. If All not, that matters is Timothy Chalamet ate out of one of them on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, that's quite possible. Did he? Did, that, did Austin, uh, did Austin Butler do the voice of Elvis while he's playing? Is it, that? All right, all right. Does oh, Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Matthew McConaughey popped up from behind the couch. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Me, my knife, hey, ship, ship and shower. <laughs> it cuts to him and Elvis get up. Me, my knife, ship and shower. Thank you, thank you very much. I still have I've seen some people saying like uh, Austin Butler is Gambit. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, can see that. that. Yeah, that'd be pretty fucking good. Actually. But but he, but he's but he does the Elvis voices, Gambit. <laughs> no, he just does the Fade Roth voice. Uh, me, it's my me. me. I happily risk a days with you. Mon You're me. hungry, my darlings. Yeah, he's bald <laughs> and shit. He's fucking. He's bald. He's a bald as fuck. He's pale as a. One of it. It's been what's staying what? in Jared Leto's cave. He's <laughs> doing weird shit. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> No, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually, I'm not in my hair. It's, it's just Jared Leto. It's just Jared Leto and Gambit. <laughs> Fuck it. But he's Morbius, but he's also Gambit for some reason. Fuck it. Hey, yeah, multiverse. Stop Jared Leto be everybody. Yeah, why not? He's also the Joker as well. Fuck it. Who cares? Mm-hmm. The multiverse. Yeah. Well, who's the range? range? Yeah, Jared, the multiverse of Jared or something. Yo, yeah. The multiverse oh, of Jared. Well, into the Jared verse. He would have been the perfect choice for a musical Joker. The letter where you see us. Oh, for like a Joker musical. Yeah. Break a... me down. <laughs> Perfect choice. Well, wow. Fucking well, god damn it, DC. You robbed us of cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Redo the whole movie with Lady Gaga and Jerry Leto. I need it right now. I always, I always get a kick when they use like a song that hasn't been heard in a while in, in a trailer mm-hmm. and it blows up. Like I've been listening to John Jones song over and over again since that joker teaser like i was like mm. all right this funk is kicking in this mm-hmm. this movie might hit it but i'm like you gotta make a lot more money now than before yeah, not because of like the the the, the 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 bar but like budget wise 
Sure. Right, who's, yep. I've been listening to that song from the Crow trailer a lot. Oh, yeah. What song was that one again? Yeah, uh, Take like What You Want From Me, I think it's called. Oh, what? wait. What do you want from me? Oh, no, I haven't seen song? the trailer. <laughs> oh, is it the, the song it's from on. the, the Megan trailer? Post Malone. Oh, it was Post Malone. Malone. Yeah, it was. Oh, Post Malone. That song yeah, actually what you want. Oh, you Post mean Malone. Take What Post You Malone. Want with Travis Scott and Ozzy Osbourne? I'm very familiar with that song. Great song. That's a good song. Yeah. Take What You Want From Me. I also found it funny too when Post Malone <laughs> performed it live with Ozzy. Ozzy came out in a fucking chair and he wasn't singing, he was lip singing it off the fucking track. I'm like, that's okay, it's fine. It's hey, whatever. you remember that time that Post Malone was in a movie called Roadhouse? And it- he was in Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse? My glorious yeah, king. Yeah, in, in the opening of the, road, the, the new Roadhouse, he's in it. Like, oh, he's in Wrath yeah. of Man. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we're There's watching. Also, my my wife is like, that? "Is that Post Malone?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's him." Post no. Post Austin. Austin. You love to see it. Do you though? <laughs> I do. Do you? My do glorious you really? king. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Was he the one that they thought was cursed because he like his plane went down or, or like? Yeah, Zach Big has almost got him killed, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> He, he, touched a, at he touched a divot box at his oh, horror museum. A divot box? Yeah, it's got a little demon in it. And oh, then he almost divot. died a couple of times. That would have been really unfortunate. Damn, Ghostbust- Damn Ghostbusters. Oh, it's one of those Hellraiser things? I was, yeah, I was about to say Hellraiser or some shit. I mean, <laughs> Wait, was, I it, was the new Hellraiser good that came out last I haven't year? Seen it. I actually haven't year? seen it. Yeah, that one. I've seen it. I've good things. But I'm just not the biggest good. Hellraiser guy, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, well, who's? Well, I was asking earlier, who's the actor that's playing the new crow? Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pennywise. Pretty much, he's been <laughs> in a <laughs> shit ton of stuff. And he's also <laughs> in the new Nosferatu, which I'm so excited about. Yeah. And they, they showed show footage. Him, and they showed a trailer at CinemaCon. God. Damn oh, they it. did. They did show a trailer. Those motherfuckers. Yeah, we they're, not, they're not releasing it. <laughs> Put it on Reddit. <laughs> I need to see it. Mm-hmm. In its there's, 280p quality, there's rumbles that they're gonna show uh Deadpool will bring stuff mañana. Hey, they might tomorrow, maybe. Oh I my god, it. oh my god. Oh, Honestly, what I'm most looking forward to is Paramount because uh, I want uh, uh, because of the new Transformers movie. Oh, that was ah, with, with Chris Hemsworth, yeah. With... So, part of like a part of like someone's description of seeing the trailer. Says mm-hmm. the movie evokes the best of classic horror. It's moody, unsettling, and also eerily beautiful, which is what we'd expect. That's exactly from what I'd want from a Robert Robert Hurst, movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as it's in the same veins of the Lighthouse and the Northman, yeah. I'm a happy is hand. Bill Skarsgård yeah. farting throughout the movie. That's what I need to know. Yes. <laughs> if he uh, is cinema. So also uh, succumb to darkness. Those Roger Taylor are stunning. It, it's vi- it's in- honestly shook by how visceral it looks. You, Robert Eggers, you madman! The score, the haunting cinematography, and sneak peek of Bill Skarsgård, life changing. He is the perfect person to make a Nosferatu movie. Oh yeah, he is. Like that's just oh, um, between him and uh, Leto, they've been in a shit ton of stuff. Between the, I mean, those two guys, yeah, Leto's been on a shit streak, and Bill Skarsgård's been on a hot streak. <laughs> yeah, there's still a lot of shit though. Yeah, yeah. Best well, John Wick villain. I bet I bet they dropped this teaser at some point because apparently they don't show the actual look of Nosferatu. They they kind of uh, hint up in the shadows. So I feel like they're gonna drop this as a first teaser. Like we're not gonna. Sh- they might even not even show you him until you see the movie. Which I think that way. Probably the I smart, would prefer I think that smart. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Just show me his shadow or something. I need to see. Him. <clears throat> It, 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 it's, it's actually you coming out from the shadows. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is a Fortnite emo. Yeah. <laughs> Start talking like Bane and fucking... Oh, I don't know. I, just... I know Sorato. I'm Orlok. <laughs> I am no Sorato. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's it. Sneaky. Is there no need for no Sorato? <laughs> I will no, no I'm fucking here to fulfill Dracula's oh. destiny. Oh. No I don't like to hurt your neck. What's no up? fucking ZD? No fucking ZD? <laughs> Let's not stand on ceremony here, Mr. So Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, 
like I don't know who mentioned John Wick, but I heard they showed ballerina footage. Yeah, ballerina. Same, I heard that, yeah. Mm, yeah. I need to see more Anna to Armas. But apparently, she's holding a sword in the footage. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Mm. <laughs> I knew she can, yeah. she can hold a sword at me. Any. <laughs> there was something to do with, like, uh, there, was to, like, there was also something that was released that had to do with, like, a Russian tundra fight scene or something like that. Uh, fuck it, why know. not? No. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You could do some ballerina shit in Russia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, speaking of ballerinas, I don't know if they've shown anything at CinemaCon. Have you guys seen the trailer for Abigail? No. Yeah, oh, that, that I'm movie, excited. I saw footage. Yeah, I saw footage at WonderCon. Yeah. 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 I yeah, love radio yeah, silence. People are saying it's uh, pretty uh, pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I love really them well. radio silence, boys. Yeah, well, you know. Did really well. well you know, I'm a screen fanboy. Cool. It's an interesting idea of yeah. like Dracula's daughter. Like It's interesting. Like, okay. It looks fucking just dumb, but that's like great for radio silence. Like just mm-hmm. preposterous horror. Yeah, apparently, like apparently it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's they also never like... do, which is why it's just fun. Like Ready or Not, yeah. the two oh, yeah, movies they was, did. Yeah, that was good. Like they're great. I'll yeah. watch anything they make. I think they're making a sequel to Ready or Not. I think. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Mm-hmm. I heard something about that. Yeah. As long as uh fucking uh, what's her name fucking Margot Robbie doppelganger is back, uh, Samara Weaving. Samara Weaving, yeah. As long as she's back, I'm sold. It'd be funny if they just get Margot Robbie for the sequel. And they don't say. <laughs> hey, I'll be fine with that too. <laughs> she's the villain. Oh yeah, she's. They, they fight each other. Ooh, there can the only re- be one Australian blonde Ready actress lady. <laughs> Who's the real Barbie? Ooh, Ryan Gosling's in there too. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm just Ken Part Two. Yeah, part two, that reckoning that go hard. Part two, electric flashback as well. (laughs) I remember when she was playing Scarlet for the Snake Eyes movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did. Yeah, Yeah. I haven't. I haven't seen. I heard it was bad though. I oh man, that movie. I heard (laughs) it was fine. Well, I heard like the one thing I had to get right was get the actual ninja fights done correctly, and apparently they don't do it right. It's bad. Andrew Koji was amazing in Storm Shadow. Yes. He was the more, more most character I connected with more than Snake Eyes. It was just, oh, that movie was weird. God fucking damn it, Bahamut! What the fuck, dude? I know, I know. <laughs> the yeah, struggle is so real. Too. Um, but I, I want to ask you guys this because we're talking about revealing and holding stuff to the movie. Do we get Wolverine with the mask in the next trailer, or do we hold that for the theater? Because people are already showing the the little Coca Cola cups uh, with it. Mm-hmm. I, I think you show it. I think since it's already on like marketing Cinecon, everyone's posting about it. I think they're planning on the next trailer full force Wolverine. At the very and least, there'll be yeah. action shots of it because well, they used this trailer because they had taken up other like fake titles to reveal mm-hmm. it's Deadpool and Wolverine. So I bet in the second trailer because they show in the last like half a second, yeah, you, you full on because you full on just show. Like not like overly like oh it's it's more of a Wolverine trailer than Deadpool but <clears throat> you show Hugh Jackman like you really yeah. put because I bet that this will be like the big marketing start will be that next trailer and then they'll start releasing all the weird shit that Ryan's done so <laughs> you know to get just him sitting ready. in a chair by a fireplace in a robe dude just, I oh, want yeah. you to do another Bob Ross fucking promo oh like he did. my yeah. god yeah. that was so funny. Maybe. I, w- a I want a little dab to- of our yellow snow yes. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, want him, I want him to be painting, and then I want Wolverine to be painting with his claws. <laughs> Happy little tree. <laughs> I want Wolverine painting with his claws while he's painting with the brush. Like, just like. Happy little blood. Stain. And he's like getting the. Yeah, he's like, oh no, he's doing it with blood. He's using blood. Yeah. To You've heard of finger painting. Oh, you're that was, painting. That'd be that was literally one of the greatest trailers I've ever seen in my life. I, I, really, I really hope, like, just thinking about it, like, how serious Wolverine is. You have Deadpool playing up this fucking comedy shit, and Wolverine's in the marketing bits, but he's playing it dead fucking serious the whole well, time. Well, that's even why mm-hmm. the reveal was funny, where it was like Ryan Reynolds is like on a couch, and you Jackman just like walks by with like a bowl of like popcorn or something, goes up to series, like, hey, you want to be in the movie? He's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, hope, I hope that Deadpool's like, knuckles, I am high as a cat right now. Yeah, Deadpool's doing all this funny shit, and Wolverine's just dead ass, like not going with the bit. Yeah. And he's yeah. just like, no. So it's like, hey, you want to paint with me? And he's like, he cuts Fuck like you. he cuts Deadpool <laughs> and uses the blood off his claws to paint shit. That'd be amazing. Yeah, would if be you guys cool. want a good preview to what the vibe might be in the movie, go watch Hulk versus Wolverine. Yep. It's Nolan North and Steve Blum. It is mm. magic. 
dynamic. They're only a few scenes together, and I'm like, please live up to this and whatnot. And I and all, people didn't really talk about it, but the TV spot for Deadpool Wolverine's teaser, it was also mm-hmm. great. Like, gotcha. there's a line where he says, "Get your socks out, boys." It's gonna be good. <laughs> or nerds. Yeah, yeah get, your, get, your, get your special and sock out, He's nerds. It's gonna be me. good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll go for a little bit longer past midnight because Katie is now deciding to be ah! Hello, Katie. <laughs> oh my gosh. I... You Fucker. jumped in. I know. I'm so sorry. I was gonna I was gonna wow. cut out at midnight and uh you're no! here. Oh, this is gonna turn God, into no, this is gonna turn into night owls with Did you fall asleep? I started a new job. Oh okay. I've been knocking out at like eight PM. So oh, okay. I I set alarms and everything, dude. I just, oh gosh. I get it. I'm waking I up it. at like four in the morning for no. I, like, I, just... I have a new, I have a new job too, so like I I don't stay on too late, so I can't do long streams anymore. But I'll go for a little bit longer because you're here. So I'll okay, be nice. I'm so sorry. Oh it's gosh, and I was like, you know, I'm coming back. This will this will yeah. this will go down in your in your yearly review on council. This will I know. Go down, though. I know. This, this, Ladies this, this and really gentlemen, really night over. owls with your host. Chainsaw reacts. We're here. Oh, ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Ba-da, yeah, have like, ba-da. Come out of curtain. Hey, everybody. No. Uh, You're not yeah. David Dismount. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> late, late night with the fucking idiots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's rebrand it. Late night with a bunch of fucking morons. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's just be. me. Because I'm the morons. Me. Uh, I guess you'll be right back. I guess, Ronan. I'll be right back. The desktop version, okay. I, I yeah, I gotta right charge. Back. I gotta charge the phone. Oh, okay, I got you. Wow. See you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Man, who we're the not, fuck we're not, letting him, that, we're not letting him back in. Who no. the fuck was that mustache? Who the fuck? Yeah, yeah when was, I saw him pop up and I saw the mustache, untang. I'm like, I was like, they're going. Oh. Wait, damn, Ronan's on OnlyFans now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Crazy dude. This Wild. is weird. Yeah. Showed up with a corn stash. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. So, Katie, how's life been besides the new job? Just whatever. I mean, it. yeah, I'm trying to think of anything minorly exciting that I could have possibly done. Uh, Take that. your time or I'll wait. No, hold on. No, wait. Because, like, no, I said take your okay. time. Okay. You're on camera. So. <laughs> So WrestleMania, right? Okay. Yeah, Stay WrestleMania. Yep. Okay. Speed. Stay with me here. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh, I did see that. Um, I haven't been watching for a Sorry. minute. Everyone's getting real into it, and I was like, okay, let me, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, like, watch like two matches or whatever, and now I'm getting all back in my little fan train, and I'm like, let me see. It. Let me see what you've been doing. I mean, nah, 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 nah. now I'm just like stuck on that. But on wrestling know. again. Well, because yeah, wrestling no, this I, past weekend was insane. All the shit they did. I know. Yeah. And this is usually eighty percent of the time. I'm usually wearing like a wrestling shirt. Like, I, just, I, just, I was into it for like a decade, like a good decade. I was, I, was, yeah, I was into it when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Has anybody been to WrestleMania? To a live WrestleMania? Yeah. Uh he would have been on tonight. My former co-worker, Scott, he's been on one at a time. He went to WrestleMania and he was gonna come on. I don't know about talk about that, but he's like, Yeah, I woke up. I have a my voice is dead. Oh, I'm like, oh, okay. Shit. It's all good. WrestleMania 26. I'll never forget it. Been like finally <laughs> get to go to it. And then adios, Shawn Michaels. Oh, that was the first one I watched, actually. Oh yeah, my God. I had seen 20, uh, 25 first on pay-per-view, and then they announced they were coming to a nearby uh, area. They said, if you're traveling from, I'm like, all right, we could do that. We can go to that. Dang. And that was it. I but I'm happy. It, it's weird, because I, I, when you think Cody Rhodes, I thought of Legacy when he was first starting up, and then to mm-hmm. see him now be champion, I'm like, all right, that's cool. It's so crazy. Everyone's like, oh, he's like the biggest superstar. Oh, my gosh, Cody Rhodes. And I'm like, Cody Rhodes? I mean, okay, like good for him, but yeah, he had a well, big guy he Stephen Amell had beef with or something. Yeah, well, he was Stardust yeah. back then. Come on now, <laughs> that know. wasn't Cody Rhodes. That was Stardust. Yeah, yeah, still lame as fuck. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 
And then he played a character called Stardust and Arrow when he came over. Even lamer. That's right. <laughs> Even <laughs> lamer is dumb. <laughs> Fucking isn't ridiculous. He the, isn't he the guy that like Oliver like just nicks him a bunch of places to yeah. like yeah. lose feeling or something? Yeah, because yeah, because he had like immunity or something to pain yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That's oh, he was Balder from God of War. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, he made like a cameo appearance in this um this anime on Netflix called Captain Laserhawk, something like that. I liked it. It was a like, mini series one up, but he appeared and I was just like, what the hell? And that name like Captain Laserhawk, like I just, remember like, seeing that at some like gaming like the guy who, thing that they showed. The guy who <laughs> Captain Laserhawk like, sounds Captain like a turd on the boys. Apparently, it's based on some stuff and whatnot, but I was just like, all right, cool. And that's when Peacemaker the guy who developed Castlevania, and I was like, all right, I'll watch it. Sounds, sounds like someone James going to make a movie about <laughs> Captain, Laser Captain Laser Hawk. Hawk. Both it, uh, versus, versus Eagle League. He's going to be in DCU's part one Gods and Monsters, Laser uh, Hawk. The God, Captain Laser Hawk. <laughs> it's weird that now, but like right now, I'm on an X-Men high, but I'm now looking to the obscure character and see if there's anything worthwhile checking back from like pre-2000. Like the, the most recent thing, again, I said it was Animal Man by Grant Morrison. I was just like, huh? I heard that those are the characters that I never heard of as a kid. And then it's like, yeah, it's fucked up. It's a serious comic book series. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, everyone keeps talking about this X-Men show. I might have to. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. That's, that's what I'm saying because I don't know what the bit. fuck's going on. It, it made a, a quick bleep in the yeah, in cause, cause before, before you came on, we were talking spoilers and stuff. Yeah. And Johnny's well, like, I haven't, I haven't seen the fucking show. He's like, oh, that sounds cool though. I'll probably watch it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, There's Johnny. watchers and gambits and fucking Bane. I don't know. You the know, Bane's that original, I think, <laughs> was probably some of the first. Like, I was trying to get into comics and I heard about. The Dark Phoenix saga, and yes, everyone was like, yes, "That yes. one was the best one. That was the best one. You gotta watch that one." So, like, that's all I've seen of it, but it was good. Like, yeah. I remember it was good, and then I got yeah. I haven't like, seen all the original either. I remember as a kid, I had a, I had a DVD. Uh, I think it was called. It was just titled Legend of Wolverine. Mm-hmm. It had like a bunch of episodes. I remember there was, I know there was one with Nightcrawler. Yes. Well, there was one around. Uh, that was my might, might have been the same episode. It was like something about Wolverine having some kind of PTSD and like turn to God or something. Wolverine well, having PTSD. <gasps> <laughs> it's well, to me. The, well, back in the nineties, we uh, if you went to Pizza Hut, you could get a VHS of yep. X Men. Pizza Hut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Damn. Uh, Promotion. Yep. Too yeah. bad it wasn't Domino's. Why are you doing that now? Old VHS. <laughs> That's yeah. what I've been saying. I really oh, hope if they, if they release yeah. the, if they it would have like one or two episodes on it. I, I really wonder if I go to Domino's or store VHS player in my head. They probably should. <laughs> they might. I really hope if they no, release, no, no, that's Waffle House. If they release season oh. one as like a, a physical release, I really hope it's in a VHS kind of case. Like oh yeah, kind of like they did for Stranger Things. I was gonna say I yeah. have the Stranger Things one. That one's yeah. sick. Well, also like if you look at like the, the promotion, they were using it in like the trailer in a poster, mm-hmm. like the VHS tapes of X Men. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like you do that shit. Like that'd be yeah. smart as hell. That'd be really cool. Some of the that figures go they've all in the past have made it into like a VHS box with the figure inside. Like yeah. Uh, Hold on, let me. Uh, I'll see if I can't get a picture of it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. To, to me, the 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 beautiful thing about '97, I told us to chainsaw, is that like if you've oh, never crap. seen anything X Men related, you can get into it, and you wouldn't be that far behind. And if yeah, you grew up with the show, hold on to your butt. Like it, it is Fuck. such a Fuck. it's a rare thing to do when you can do both things and whatnot. Yeah, and and He's Katie, fucking... if you've never, uh, you said yeah. Dark Phoenix. There you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah. If you've never read, I highly recommend a graphic novel, and I tell the boys about this called "God Loves, Man Kills." It's brutal, but it, it that that story capsulizes everything that the X Men represent. It's a beautiful story, but it's hard to read, especially the first few pages. The fair part about that, Ronan, when you were explaining that, Phil's in the back going, "Fuck." Fuck! Like he's just I, like playing the game. I told you to call Kratos, dude. I don't know what. It <laughs> I stopped talking about Invincible. I was like X Men. Let's. I know X Men. He and I, we like X Men. All right, cool. Uh, no, I get it. I. He lost Invincible. Come on. I no no do no, 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 no. <laughs> not. The 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 I was talking about X Men. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, 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 no. no, what Phil's going through, I, I told us to Johnny a while back, but like that's that what he went through is what I went through with part two of Last of Us playing it for mm-hmm. three, four fucking days. 
I was like, God damn it. This and I was the thing. maniac that binged it in like 16 hours on stream one time. And I was like, wow, I have mental problems now. I need to go get therapy and <laughs> oh, sleep for a long time. <laughs> God. I need a cerveza. I need ice cream. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, nice. It's a hot <laughs> comic. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. brother. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, for anybody who's a 90s kid as well, didn't Pixar also sell like demos of PlayStation 1? Uh, yeah, I remember oh, yeah. that. I remember that used to be a thing too. Like you said, PS One demo like disc and shit. Let's make Pizza Hut great again. <laughs> That's how I first played Tomb Raider. I'm like, I had a demo from Pizza Hut. <clears throat> like, Tomb They're building a wall outside of every Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is so woke now. Everything's woke. Fuck it. Building a wall. Oh what? shit, we're woke. That gluten free side you own. You can't get no pizza unless you're on my side, brother. We're, I, I just didn't realize we're woke because Katie's here. Shit. Damn it. God uh, fuck. All right, I got no, it. No, you been in a Latino. Mujer y Latino. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Shit. You're fake. You're fake Latino. Que cosa? You're fake Latino. Stop painting your skin, boy. <laughs> Let me get the Family Guy skin color thing. Scusi, Baba the Boopy. This is all natural mustache. Yeah, that was the first Johnny. Excuse me, Papa the Boopy. Que cosa? Que cosa? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I speak I have a mustache. I speak Italian. Papa. 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 The language of love. That's the funniest part of the fucking Godfather <laughs> Family Guy episodes. They don't even speak Italian. It's like, Papa the Boopy da ba pizza. Papa the Boopy da for ravioli. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> sitting there, I showed it to my dad. It's just like fluent in Italian. He's like, this is fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Well, it's, 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 that one Harley Quinn episode. It's like, why are we talking like this? It's it's, it's perpetuating a, an offensive stereotype. Somebody, <laughs> somebody did a, a parody of the intro to Sopranos. I forgot who it was. Was it The Simpsons or, or, or some <laughs> other cartoon one? I did, and I was just like, this is <laughs> they did one on Hard Knocks for the Jets with the Jets head coach. I was like, okay, I guess oh. he's not even fucking Italian, but okay. <laughs> it was pretty funny though. To the East Coast. Yeah, he's in Jersey, so it counts. Like, yeah, you're Italian by default. You're in fucking New Jersey. <laughs> Dude, hold on, hold on, because our minds. Were, that's crazy. Because that that was that was the craziest thing I've ever heard on the stream. Because literally, what? I'm from New Jersey, so that oh. I literally say to people is like, "You're Italian by proxy." <laughs> if you're from yeah, if you're in New York or New Jersey, you're basically just fucking Italian. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like you're like Italian adjacent, even if you're not Italian. Pretty much, yeah. Italian by association. I'm fucking yeah, Italian. yeah. You're half Baba the Boopy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to make an out of context video of these streams. Fuck. Yeah, they will. They're gonna try to cancel me for being racist towards Italian motherfucker. I am Italian. <laughs> I'd say my full name I'm if one docks me. I'm gonna send them the the, the, the footage yeah. exclusively. It's like this is him. This is what he does. <laughs> Get his ass. <laughs> Get him out of here. Just just play the clip from Rush Hour Three. No, no. When, when Chris Tucker no. goes into the dojo. <laughs> Just you? No, I mean, no, you, you, all you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, do we? That's why I can't wait to see Colin Farrell come back as a penguin and be a fake Italian again. It's great. Do his Robert De Niro impression. Love it. Is, is that uh, is that your inspiration in life? Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I strive to be Colin Farrell's penguin. <laughs> That's like the worst Spanish I've heard. <laughs> Lord, ah, the... yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows. <laughs> what are the stupidest song? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's La. La. La, right <laughs> Sophia Falcone in it. I think that they, they've confirmed that, right? Yeah, she's yeah. in it. Yeah. I think yeah, it's I, I, the lady who was in Palm Springs and was in uh, Jordan Belfort's wife in Wolf of Wall Street Wolf of Wall before Street, Margot uh, Robbie uh, appears. In <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't wait for the scene where she likes talking. She's the, the dead mom and how I met your mother. Oh, mom, mom. Christina Milioti. Yeah, that's her name. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the scene where she's talking to Penguin. He turns to her and goes, "Did you just call me Blob?" <laughs> <laughs> no fucking Zini. <laughs> yeah, no, no fucking Zini, Sophia. <laughs> I didn't say Blob. I said Bob. Leave yeah. the gun. Take the cannoli. Take the cannolis. <laughs> I say that all the time. <laughs> Take the fucking cannolis. The the gems and movies that that not, not oh. great as a whole and whatnot. Like mm. 
Like I still get a kick out of watching the danger room scene from the last ten, even though it is not like. No, it's not um, good. It's and the not. Sentinels are hidden away and shit, like it's dumb. And that that green screen walkout of Hugh Jackman from the Sentinel robot heads, it's 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 magical. <laughs> is yeah. it magical though? What was the Sentinel it's, even based on? As a kid, <laughs> as a kid, it was magical to me. I was like, oh, cool, the cartoon, but that looks nothing like it. Not okay. great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole intro of that movie though, gas. Not gonna lie. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you're yeah. saying that's cool. It's like, shh. Uh. Oh, yeah. These fucking, these young, these youngins. Jesus. These Gen Zers. Yeah, you fucking... know what's funny? Um, I've been I've been watching uh, Frasier for the first time recently, and I had also watched the new X Men. I'm like, hey, Dad. Either way, I'm, I've got yeah. Beast. That's true. <laughs> Fair fucking point. Damn it. I, never, I flipped the f out as a kid dude. when he popped up, and I was just like, "Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Finally, they got the blue dude. It's that dude! Oh my god, it's Frasier! <laughs> oh my god, scrambled eggs! It's finally it's the guy from Expendables three. Oh, oh yeah, he was in Expendables three. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. I have to see the fourth one. I heard the someone fourth watching time. Rocky for the first time. Oh my god, it's the guy from Expendables four. <laughs> Holy shit. I've not seen the fourth, but I hear it's horrible. So Yeah, I heard it's absolutely it. horrendous. I don't like any of them, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not like 50 years old, so it's not for me. Yeah, I think that a lot too after <laughs> things I say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I don't okay. know. Oh, because I started thinking like. You know, because we have well, we haven't played Call of Duty in a while, Johnny. Because I know, Katie, you play a lot of Call of Duty. Yeah. Do you still? No, we just no, we just got railed on Warzone on my stream. Yeah, you forgot? Get, we did, yeah. Then we switched. You blocked it out of your memory. I don't blame you, honestly. It was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> bad. Warzone is yeah. rough, dude. I don't yeah. normally play Warzone. I'm a <laughs> we sprinted back to Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, we ran. We ran away. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, I am tried. not reborn anymore. I am washed. I don't we tried, tried Warzone. Fortnite, but... I think Join I tried us. it one time on like my Switch, and I I just got like real, real. Yeah, I wouldn't play it on the Switch. Hey, we need I a console creator squad. I'm limited. I'm limited to playing Fortnite on my Switch, and everyone's like, "Shit." Yeah. yeah. Like it's Maybe so that's bad. What it's so bad. Like the the laser attachment that you can put on the guns now, or the, mm. the pupils, I should say, because we're gonna get demonetized. Sorry, chainsaw. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't demonetize me. Yeah. I think I already demonetized oh, this enough. You can put on the pupil, the the laser that you can put on the pupil. You can't even Damn see the hell. laser. You can't yeah. see the laser. You put it on, and it's just not there. Oh hell yeah, dude! Amazing. That's it's I, true gaming experience. Yes, yeah. true. Uh, twenty one eighty p or twenty one. That is almost as cool as Velma season one on HBO Max. Oh. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Season two this month, <laughs> and season two is coming out. Yeah, season two is coming out. <laughs> we got. Oh, yeah. How? How? Yeah, like every, I every don't. Every I don't know. It. When they when they when they announced they were making the show, they 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 they, they were producing. Everyone hate watch it. That's why it's oh, going okay. second. Yeah, so yeah, it true. was already getting a season two, regardless of the response of season one. Is this still happening? Because I haven't heard anything about yes. it. Yes, they oh they put God. out a poster today, and Gore the movie got posted about, it and I said hype, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> he's fucking with them. It's hype. It's fucking yeah. cool, man. Oh my God, it's happening! Oh my, oh my God, it's Vilma. <laughs> Ready. Well, here's the whole thing about the concept of hate watching. I don't get. How do you actually know if it's all hate watching, or how do you know if it's Hey, watching or people just legitimately watching it and enjoying it. They don't look at know. IMDb. There's, there's no I, way a show got they're that confused the human beings. And look at IMDb with like a one point eight out of ten. Well, it season two watch. was already coming no matter what because when they when they when they and uh, greenlit the show, they gave it two seasons without any you know oh, yeah. real thing. And you're oh, like, can't, get, can't get a refund on that. <laughs> Trust yeah, no. us, guys. This is gonna be a hit. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll go. Let us cook. This is a TV show without Scooby doing is gonna. It's gonna be a hit. Nobody likes the fucking dog. I just I can't get attached because the ones I do like get canceled very quickly, and then these garbage ones are out. Like I've just been rewatching Cloak and Dagger again. How many times can I rewatch Cloak and Dagger? I don't know. I mean, is it good? Here I am, because it's great. All about you. Yeah, is it on Disney Plus? Uh, no, it's what? for whatever reason. I don't know, but it's on Hulu. 
that show wow. fell in that realm where like the gifted legion where it, like, it looked yeah. intriguing to me but i just didn't have time to check it out and i was oh, just love that busy show. with this stuff I, I guess he's not too busy to be here hey busy what's up man <laughs> i was literally, like, oh, i was literally gonna end the stream you and you're that, like bro. you're gonna end the stream fuck you no no <laughs> we're trying to we're going for the slider cup bro no we're That's not no i cannot <laughs> i have to go to work <laughs> i have to go to work hallelujah gotta go to oh work tomorrow no all right my fall working man no, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Hey, Katie, haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I know, and I've been here like 15 minutes because I screwed mm-hmm. up. She fell asleep. She hey, Ronan, asleep. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, you guys never do anything together. Yeah, no. uh, never, never, never. We did, definitely didn't record X Men earlier this morning. How's, your voice is what's going on, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's so day. bad from because he was well, excited I, well, when I, and I didn't want to. Bro, yo, it's gonna be so embarrassing when I upload the episode five X Men reaction because I'm over here yelling and my voice is like fucking cutting out like, left and right. <laughs> and I, I, to... I sounded like an impubescent child. <laughs> it was bad, bro. It was really bad. Hey, bro, went back in the womb, bro. Bro, went back in the womb. <laughs> it's weird because I wanted to like speak so he wouldn't talk that much on, on like losing his voice, but I'm like, I don't want to also spoil stuff that was happening. And, and right before we recorded, he looked at the thumbnail at the episode and I was like, God Bro, damn it. I was tight, bro. How are you gonna put the character that's supposed to be like a surprise in the fucking thumbnail? This is my language. Yeah. Yeah, always cursing. Wow, you cursed it. Yeah, b- yeah, it's uh, weird to hear busy's yeah. voice. It sounds like Draven just normally. It's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's what he gets for not being here. Fuck him. But he's like the most adult out of all of us. He has a whole oh, kid. Yeah. He has a whole okay. kid, bro. Dude, he eats bro bread. is boss he baby. Eats bread. Bread. He eats bread like it's fuck. You know, no, no. Oh yeah, he put it. Yeah, he's just eating bread raw. Oh, and you're also here for the episode. Raw dog in the loaf. The streak has been broken because Gore has not been here this whole episode. Oh, for real? And wow. He's been on, he's been on every single life? episode. Yeah, I think so. We, okay, as far good. as we know. <laughs> but he's been on every single episode since episode three. And I want him and an Undertaker to have a sit down. Be like, let's talk about our streaks. About the streaks. How we about it. And Gore's like, yeah, my streak was, uh, yeah, my streak's more important than yours, Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> just shoot it like the Hollywood Reporter roundtable and just be like, yeah, like, <laughs> like Gore, six. what we got, YouTuber. Yeah, what happened? Like, I was binging Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's doing. I don't know. It's I was fun. probably drinking a big gold watching I, that's Fallout. What I, that's what I figure that he's doing. He's, he's watching Fallout. Yeah, he's probably he's going crazy on that. Yeah. I edited the first episode. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna try to get all of them out, bro. I'm too tired to do all that shit. Yeah, because people are trying to do that shit right now. They're trying to rush and like. Nah, no. it ain't. I'm just gonna no react way. to the finale and call it a day. Those first two episodes were too good to rush it. Like, mm-hmm. no way. Mm. Nah. Mm. I'm jealous you got to see in the big screen. I'm like, oh, nah, yeah. And I mean, we saw it the the episode early. Yeah. And then I got the invite to go to the uh to see it on a the theater. So I was like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it twice. Fuck I it. told these guys, I'm like, I wish the show because who? What was the last show that did it? Was it Game of Thrones or Walking Dead where they would premiere an episode in the movie theater? Oh, they've been well doing as... it for a lot of shows. I know Stranger Things did it at one point. Really? The shows has been yeah. doing it like the whole. Uh, time. I don't think that was the first episode. I think it was like the last two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they were a whole last movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, know, Bre- I know Breaking Bad did movie that movie. too at a point. Breaking Bad was they having were? their last few episodes in theaters. Like you could watch it like because they would like rent out a theater or something or have it like from the AMC premiere and just you would watch it in the theater. Nah, so, yeah, I know. Would be crazy. Uh, Walking yeah. Dead did that for their finale. Like they put that shit in like a giant theater for the mm. premiere. That'd be dope. Fire. Mm. I think dope. The Last of Us even did it. But yeah, they gave us like a uh, what is it like a Fallout Arizona? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Arizona. Oh, that's fire. That's that supposed to be like a Nuka Cola thing or what? Yeah, kind it's of. like red apple green tea energy drink. Uh, be kind of cool. Ass, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, nah, Arizona's goaded. They never met. <laughs> nah, but this is like an energy drink. So when I, I expected like a nice smooth juice. And that it was shit was battery like, acid. Yeah, it was battery <laughs> acid. Okay, <laughs> 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 like, yeah, that's the fucking apocalypse is all we can make. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's not, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was good enough for me to drink the whole thing. So, but then hey. again, I'm a fat ass. So, who am I to complain? <laughs> but it was still alright. Has <laughs> anybody has anybody here watched the uh, most recent Walking Dead um, short series? I watched the first episode. Really liked it. Haven't watched it since. Yeah. Ones to Live. Okay. Is that right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was. That that was the ending we should have got in the original series. I fucked with the heavy, bro. That's that's what we should have got. 
I, think I, I don't love, understand I how you can do a spinoff of show of a show like that. Well, I mean, like a prequel, I get, but. Mm. Well, I watch the show, show. Right? <laughs> like hey, yo, Phil, what's good? You back? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Man was playing fucking Minecraft or something. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm done playing Final Fantasy. Yeah, he was he was playing Minecraft. Oh, fuck, fuck the Ender Dragon. Yeah, he was playing. Fuck. He was playing Lego Fortnite. Actually, <laughs> Lego Fortnite's crazy. Ender Dragon. He's just getting jumped fuck. by a wolf. As you do. I love you jump by a wolf. <laughs> Fenrir on my cheeks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Daddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. As long as Kratos is riding him, fine. Oh, you'll be calling me Daddy here pretty soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I already do. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Boogie nights. We're gonna lie to the audience I, like I we don't like call each other daddy when we're on Gore's, Discord. Uh, I feel like we're filling in Gore's shoes by talking like that. <laughs> well, it's not the same because it'd be really off the fucking rails. Right yeah, now. it'd be worse. No. Yeah, talk about the Arrowverse. That'll bring. Well, no. he loves the Arrowverse. He lo- he loves it so much. Yeah, don't about be that. shit on the Arrowverse. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, he loves it so much, man. He loves the Arrowverse. Come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, laugh. Definitely so peak, dude. Here's what I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh is if we're. Going through our outro, and he jumps in. <laughs> Schneider cut. I'll try to summon him again. <clears throat> Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a great game. Okay. <laughs> demon pool. 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 Pedro for president. Come side. Come side. Come side. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. <laughs> I'm literally gonna shave this right after this. I'm just, Why, bro? Come on, dog. You're not yeah, keeping. You're not keeping the corn stash. Keeping stash? Come on, Pedro. Yeah, you're Pedro. 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 What the hell, Pedro. man? The most you sweet wait? compliment I ever I got at the past few days was like, like someone knows, like, oh, you look like you're in high school still, and I'm like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. That's the best. Nah, right away, get. right away, That's he joined the, the the stream earlier, and I was like, I look at him, I'm like, bro, you shave your beard? He's like, yeah. And then he said Pedro for president. So now he's the one who said, oh, you're going to say it, I'm going to say it. It was a funny thing. Joke. When he jumped in and he was backstage, I saw him. And, like, and I said, this like, <laughs> you literally said, who the fuck is this guy? I looked down, like, I'm like, did he fucking shit? I'm like, and then he That's noticed, funny. like, oh, he's fucking talking to me. He's doing this stuff oh. to me. I'm like, yeah. you know, rocking the Pancho Villa mustache. Yeah. That's <sighs> you know, yeah, sometimes you just got to do it. Oh, that thing. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. I don't know what the hey, hell. Brother. Okay, so that that special play, special yeah, players. Yeah. Can someone explain <laughs> what the fuck that is? Bro, it's Sketch, the good boy Sketch. What are you talking about? I do not know what that is. You look like Sketch. I love what's going on here. Hey, Sorry for guessing. <laughs> I don't know. Now he's I'm... a streamer, but he's like, like. Is that, is that a different sketch? But he's different. <laughs> is that a character he plays? Yeah. I, I partially, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can react to some his... sketch videos. Nah, yeah. His, the, that You'll probably like, get some nice, views. But it's funny. I love it. I just love these new meanings to the words like gas. I'm like, that's what you put in your car. It's like, no, it's not what it means anymore. Hey, yo, bro, no, bro. bro. That's half my vocabulary. <laughs> say yeah. gas. Fire, gas, chips. Yes, sir. Dog water. Do you, do you say, do you say Ooh, cook? Dog water is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that they're cooking with this shit. That's exactly yeah, what I, I say. See? It's the Gen Zers, Zers bro. How, how old That's are what we're you doing. Uh, don't come at me. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's part oh. of your vocabulary, too, right? Fart. Yeah. Uh, Fart. I'd be farting and shit. Shit. Chainsaw, you probably graduated high school when I was in kindergarten. Mm. <laughs> shit. I mean, when, when, okay, what year were you in kindergarten? 2005. <laughs> Oh, nope, shit. I did not graduate in 2005. Nope. Oh, when did you graduate? Yeah. Sometime. When did you graduate? <laughs> the year after me. Those other no. years. You're actually not no, close at all. That's no, no competition. No. That's no competition. No. He was probably the year after me is when you graduated. Oh, dude. Year. Oh. Shane, so you probably had a full paying job by the time I was in kindergarten. I was in kindergarten. <laughs> what, what, what year were you in kindergarten? What year? 2013. Oh, oh man. 2013. Uh, oh, no, yeah. You might have to get some of the Draven no. slander. He's actually really young. I did not have a full time job in 2013. No. Oh. Neither did, did I not. come to think of it. No. I will say, though, I was in college in 2013. <laughs> I was in eighth grade. Same. Okay. 2013, I was, I was 13. <laughs> yeah, okay. wow. I graduated in 2011. There you go. <laughs> That's when I graduated. All right, all right. I was about yeah. to say, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah.
got 10 years on me, so. so. <laughs> I'm in my Kobe year. I'm loving it. 24. Big ups. Hey. <laughs> Me too, me too. You'll get old fucking yes, fast, trust me. It'll hit you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Not the, yeah, not the depressing thoughts coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait. Just wait get until old, you're 32. Get, your back get old starts. Oh, like, God. It's all down here from here. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's downhill hey, after Phil, 30. Phil, question. Have you hit that point yet where you just, like, when you lay in bed, you have this huge, like, sigh of just, <laughs> like, just thank God? Yeah, I <laughs> hit that at 28. Okay. I'm just, I'm just curious because. Oh, oh, boy. I turned 28 in a few weeks. Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> Happy <laughs> depression. <laughs> well, it's so funny because, like, am, a while am I back, the oldest person here? No, I think uh, Death Rose beat you. Yeah, yeah. I'll oh, be, yeah. I'll be, uh, I'll be forty-two this December. Oh, okay. So you're ten years December old. December what? Good. That's good. I didn't want to be is the it, oldest one here. Bad? Is it bad that I hit that size stage when I was twelve? <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. I mean, I mean we're the state yeah. of the world. We all hit that side point. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Know. You know you're starting to get cool. old, and I'm sorry, Katie. I don't know if you can relate to this, but as a guy, you know you get old when you love sitting in a, a really like recliner chair and just lay back, and you're just fucking like it's it's <laughs> oh, different with I love the recliner. recliner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the recliner thing. Yeah, because see, I hit that around like 25. Was like, okay, I love my recliner, and I fucking miss it. I've been reclining story. the whole stream, brother. <laughs> no, an actual not not a fucking game chair, an actual recliner chair. Like uh, recliner. Like, oh, wow. the TV I'm sorry, my shit. gaming chair isn't good enough here, dog. Jesus, a fucking young shit. Yeah, man. I'll get my money up. I guess I'm a broke <laughs> bitch. I just thought of like the funniest, yeah. funniest recliner chair story, but I I can't say it because there's a lady present. Okay. Oh, oh. I cannot oh? speak of it. That is good self control. <laughs> that seems pretty sexist <laughs> to me, dude. No, no, it's just a lot of self control. It involves me, my friend, and my ex. Maybe that lady was right. So, yeah, that's inappropriate. That sounds inappropriate. I can already. It's, I don't. It was, it was very inappropriate. We'll just it sounds inappropriate. That sounds very. Did it involve you, Jones? <laughs> Did it involve the Dune popcorn bucket? <laughs> was there a Dune oh, no. in? <laughs> Hey, with, him, guy, with with his <laughs> face, the answer is yes. Popcorn I'm putting like I'm putting the puzzle pieces together. Yeah. Do not tell the story in public. Yeah, I, I or in private. I love you. To. Don't you don't want to record it on the internet forever? No. <laughs> deliver us to paradise. I would, oh, you rather, could, okay. I would deliver rather, it on my stream on the internet. No, I, I, I would rather <laughs> talk about the time I got groped by a mute prostitute in San Francisco over what happened with Jesus. the recliner. Okay. Go on. That was a lot hooked. to take in. <laughs> <laughs> Not where I thought we were going, but I'm hooked. Go That's, on. Continue. Okay, <laughs> kids, sit down. It's story time. <laughs> Johnny, wait, 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 yeah, wait, Johnny's wait. already buying the tickets for it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm ready. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, if, what? You have a, if you have a mute prostitute, doesn't that eliminate like half of their job? <laughs> Why is this good? I, mean, uh, uh, I can make a really mean, bad joke, but I'm not good. Just because they're mute doesn't mean their mouth doesn't work. Like, come on, man. Well, if they're mute, it doesn't mean that they, that means that they don't talk. Right? Big fucking like, deal. That, that's not the point. Well, okay, yeah, but there's. I mean, they probably still mumble. Oh my God, As yeah. Salvatore Maroni once said, Who makes you think I want to hear you talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay. It's going a little off the rails, I think. This is yes. the second time I've told the story. The ditch today. is oh getting God. deeper and deeper. going. Present tense. I told it at work today too. Just, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to alarm anyone, but Chris Brown just dropped an album. No, oh, it's not me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> just a little FYI for you there. <laughs> Oh, How hard does it slap? Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's any titty slappers on. I haven't heard it yet. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. Council after the dark. The, <laughs> the look on Chainsaw's face from that was <laughs> top tier. Oh, All right. Snyder. <laughs> on that <laughs> note, we're getting the fuck out of here. That's what you want to end on? I was about to say, you wanted to end the shit like happened. I don't know how to... What, what are we supposed to do after this? I have no fucking idea. Let's, Let's do a live reaction uh, uh, to Chris Brown's... Uh, come on, Ryan Gates again! Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's watch X-Men. No, next <laughs> episode, everybody that comes on for your next episode, they yes. have to hear the album, give their rankings, 
the list. Oh. Yes. 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 You a deep discussion. I don't yeah, listen yeah. to Chris Brown. Not to really self. Mean. Do not come on stream. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to join my yeah. Music Monday stream. And to I shit do. on your opinions on music? Yes, okay. precisely. It's a little dim. Sounds right, Kanye. We're going to do that a lot for me. I have some pretty garbage taste sometimes. Yes, sir. We're going to go down the line and we'll see wherever what we can find everybody. Death Row, we will find you, sir. Uh, you can uh, find me on uh, there. <laughs> Row Death at X and uh, Death Row at uh, Instagram. And of course, Death Row TV on YouTube. Remember it. Remember it. Perfect. Johnny, where can people find you? Uh, do you want to find me? I don't know. Yes, we all want to find you somewhere. Uh, you are you, beds in our closets. We'll find you. Yeah, beds, closets, uh, YouTube and Twitches, and I don't know. Corners. Fork, fork knives. Yeah, fork yeah. and knives. Yeah. Mike, where can people find you? Sir? Uh, you can you can find me in the back dumpster at your local Walmart. Fire. That's where we all want to find you. Yep. <laughs> Oh, be mute, where can people find you besides that uh, horrific story? <laughs> when I'm not, in when San I'm San not getting Francisco. groped by a prostitute, in San oh, San yeah, <laughs> you can find me at Unfiltered pretty much everywhere except for the X Twitter app because that place sucks and Elon Musk can eat a bag. Facts. Yeah, that, Facts. that's about it. Okay, cinema. Where can people find you? All right, find me on uh, the on app. The, he finally, does not want to be mentioned right there. I'm also on Instagram and on YouTube. Perfect. Uh, Katie, where can people find you? Honestly, who knows? Can, can you believe I have just been on such a hiatus on YouTube that literally I got, I don't have that many fo- or subscribers. And somebody literally just commented like, where are you? And I was just like, good question. Good question. But I exist that, there. That is a good question. Where, where are we all going? Where are we? Where, where are, we? are we going? Ronan, where can people <laughs> find you, sir? Find me at Ronan and Chain, uh, probably crying about X Men and, and Invincible and Invincible. Word. Yes, yes, <laughs> um, yeah, check it out. Got a lot of vlogs and videos coming down. And he's not here, so I'll do my best at busy impression. Busy, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me at um, oh. this on YouTube and um, and all that. And I do all this shit and um, I get early. And I Yo, are you sure he's not here? That's not him talking right now. I mean, and um. You know, this is all. This is yo, all. Grogu going hard not, right now. He cooking. I'm not, I'm not too busy. I expected Grogu to sound yo, like. Gro- not, Grogu's in the lab right now cooking. I'm not too busy to be here. Uh, Grogu. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, Grogu's too. gonna be on the new Metro and Future album. He's and, cooking. Uh, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm, actually uh, I'm actually five years old, and um, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still a young Uber snapper. I talk about cooking shit. <laughs> I'm a young and you your throat before you make that impression again. <laughs> I he's not gonna come back though. Watch him come back when we fucking ran it. Yeah, but yeah, so thank you everybody for being here. A part of the 31st episode of Council. The streak has been broken. Gore was not here. God damn it. Crazy. I'm the captain though. I'm the captain. <laughs> and, and, uh, the over his. Yes. And uh We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Arrivederci. Bye, boy. Bye. 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 Bye